Hey, what's up? Do you guys want to play uh, a game where we look at we look at take pictures of uh, some animals? No. Okay, me neither. Let's play Monster Hunter. Let's beat up animals instead. Nah, just get it. Just gotta play Pokemon Snap. <laughs> Actually, Monster Hunter Snap sounds like an incredibly good idea. What? What the fuck is this notification that I keep getting? I've never seen that before in my life until, like, last week. Who's inviting me to things? What are you doing? You better stop. You better stop. Oblavid, thank you for the 18 months. 18 months of Lizard. This game saves automatically. Oh. Uh... Select your language. Well, I, 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 I think, um, mm, uh, Italian, uh, English. Yeah, I'm just starting this. I got, I actually got this, uh, yesterday, but, um, I was very busy yesterday, so I didn't have time to stream it. However, I have it now, and uh, I've heard it's really, really good. So I'm excited because I really liked the original game. In fact, I still have it on my shelf. And I remember having a lot of fond memories of playing that game with friends and finding all the fucking secrets in it. Uh, yeah, sure, we can look, we can do the English dub, it's fine. Please select your appearance. You can... You can't change your appearance later. Oh. Well. Uh. Hmm. Uh. 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 None of these are lizards. I'm gonna be this guy. Desert P. Okay, yeah, that'll be my nickname. That's me. Yeah, that uh, works. Sure! You ready to start? I'm ready to start. That Pikachu's gonna fucking kill that Eevee. Dude, stop it! You gotta stop them! Do the Japanese voices. Let's hear the English dub first. Let's just give it a chance. What the fuck is that? Bro, what what you thought these fucking animals? Yo, is that a dog? Oh, this is gonna be weird. Ooh. Hi there. I'm glad you made it. Welcome to the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences, or LENS for short. My name is Mirror. I'm researching Pokémon and their natural environment here on Florio Island. Whoa, what, bro, we're in Florida, bro? Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah so... <laughs> that's not all. The professor's gonna study every single island here in the lentil region. <laughs> what, like, like a lentil bean? No one's ever done an ecological survey like this before. It's going to be amazing. No one? Aren't you forgetting a certain explorer? <gasps> Oops, good point. You've read the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? Oh, yeah, dude. Totally. But... It's everybody knows Captain Vince. He's related to Captain Lou Albano who plays Super Mario Brothers. But, ever, but even counting him... Professor, your survey is going to be the first of its kind in a hundred years. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She's here on vacation while her school's on break. Jeez. I'm not just here to goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant. <laughs> uh, yes, that's right, and I appreciate the help. Bro, when do I get to take a picture of an animal? There's an animal right behind you. Right behind you. Right over there. Look over there. There's 
see that. I see you, bitch. Look at you. You think you slick? Take a picture. Take a Pokemon snap, bitch. Yep, yep, get out of here. Anyway. Now, before we go over what you'll be doing in this program, why don't we step into the lab to get settled? You forgot to capitalize the W and Y. Yep. Right you are, Professor. I'll lead the way, see? They forgot. I should be a Q&A tester. I, I, I spot these things. No. It's a curse. All right, allow me to explain. You're right, the game is ruined now. Now I have to refund it. They fucked it up. The lentil region is absolutely teeming with Pokemon. Photographing, <laughs> photographing these Pokemon helps us learn more about them and their ecosystem. Mmm. Mm. And that's exactly what you're here to do. At night, you might even get to see glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. Right. What, like, like radioactive glowing or like, like bioluminescence? Because one of those is concerning and the other one's cool. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. <laughs> oh, that's okay, bro. I already got a phone. I've got the same one. We can use them to communicate with each other and the rest of the team, too. That's right. It's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. It's a fucking smartphone, bro. Yep. 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 <laughs> It'll also serve as a sort of ID badge for you here, so take good care of it. Wow, thanks. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, damn. Awesome, right? It's a fucking camera. <laughs> it looks like a disposable camera. The professor invented it. Your professor invented the camera? <laughs> I thought that it was uh, Thomas Edison. Uh, ooh. Wait, that guy stole stuff too. Did, 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 did Benjamin Franklin invent a light bulb? Can I explain how to use a professor? Sure thing, Rita. A sister way. I'll go take care of some other preparations. Wh why are you staring at me? What do you mean preparations? Other preparations with that fucking unblinking sta- Okay. Yeah. All right, come on, let's go outside. I don't like the way this dude is looking at me. Tutorials are based on default button layouts. Let's see. Aha! Perfect timing! Oh, hey, it's a Vivellion! The fucking moth from X. Why? Villain Vivellion! Try getting a shot of that Pokemon. You can press the A button to take a photo. Why the fuck is this game so quiet? I'm gonna crank this shit. Vivellion. Uh, I think that's good. Wow, I really have to turn this game up. It's really quiet. In before loud as fuck later. Well, yeah, we'll pay for this mistake with our ears. Try getting a shot at that Pokemon. You can press A to take a photo. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, just... Well, hold on. Let it get into the frame and then... Yeah, yeah. Going. Oh, oh, well, thank you. Now, why don't you try moving the camera to line up your shot? Oh. See that circle in the center of your viewfinder? That's called the pointer. Oh, is that what that is? If you use oh, I thought that was called the reticle. We use those in Counter-Strike to shoot people. If you use the L to move around, the camera will follow it. Oh, wait, I don't have to read it. You're reading it. Give it a try. Okay. Uh. Shub. You can point the camera up and down and even spin all the way around left or right. This is just like when they woke up Master Chief in Halo 1 and they were like, All right, look up, look down, look around. Whoa! Fucking whiplash, bro. Wow, it's a Pikachu. There's millions of them out there. Why are you so excited? But I don't feel like it. Mm. No, that's okay. 
I'm gonna look at other stuff. What else is around here? Damn, you guys live like this? The pointer using the left stick. Try lining up the pointer with Pikachu. Don't tell me what to do. Yo, that's the thing that Todd used! The left stick. Try lining up the pointer with Pikachu. Lady, I am 30 or 40 years old and I don't need this. Stop telling me what to do. Are those fucking... Remove the pointer using the what, are, what are these used for? The <laughs> yeah, Todd Howard. <laughs> That's his car. You can move the point. Did you see that shape appear around Pikachu just now? Yeah. I think that's a square. Whatever that shape is around is the subject of your photo. Remember that. R what? It'll be important when the professor's evaluating your photos. Try oh. snapping a photo. Oh, like Pokemon Snap. Title drop. Bam, boom, bang. Good job. But Pikachu's a little far away. It looks kind of small, huh? Yeah, it also looks really underweight. I don't know, man. You, did, that, is this is, is this Pikachu eating all right? The Pikachu's in the other Pokemon Snap game are a lot chunkier. <laughs> Times like this call for zooming in. Uh. Okay. To zoom in, just hold the ZL button. You'll stay zoomed in until you let go. Uh, oh, okay. Just yeah, someone give this this poor starving beast an apple. Try snapping a photo of Pikachu looking nice and big. Uh. What? It, it it's a zoom in. We're not changing the size. Uh, whatever. No, it didn't change its scale. We just got closer. Don't you understand what's what like spatial dimensional bullshit is? Don't you know geometry? You want your subject's whole body. Do you think when you get closer to a tree that the tree is growing before your eyes? Yes. It isn't? Yes. It actually is. The tree actually is growing before your eyes, but at a very slow rate. So slow that you, our eyes cannot detect it. But if we were on the cellular level, we probably could detect it and watch as the plant cells multiply into more plant cells and spread the nutrients and the cellulose between the walls. What are we doing? Play oh yeah, video game. Uh, whole body smack dab. Well, Thank you. You're doing great too. Can you blink, please? Oh, right. You can adjust your camera and motion controls from the settings menu. Blink, motherfucker. You can also adjust them from the pod. Desert, she's a JPEG. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? Hey, professor. You covered the basics. Huh? This dude doesn't blink either. Oh wait, there we go. Oh, thank God. How was that? I hope you're getting the hang of your research camera. Anyway. Now then, I'll evaluate the photo. First of all. Would you mind choosing one shot of each Pokemon you think will I'll rate them using my special scoring system. Pick whatever shots you want the best. Try selecting the Pikachu folder. Oh, okay. You were close. Where's Professor Oak? Uh, you can choose a photo with left or right or by moving the pointer. Press A when you've decided which one to show me. Uh, this, this one. This, this one's the best one. Next, try selecting the Vavillon folder. Vavillon? Is it, is it, is it like two L's? Like a, like a... Like, like, uh, like Latin, you go like, it's like a E sound. Holy, little, little. Yay, it sounds like almost like a Y. That's it, what the fuck is that title? I don't know. What are we doing? We're playing a video game right now? Ah, shit. Uh,. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, sure, whatever. Pretty low res. You could have gotten a higher res camera. I, what is this, like a 900p camera? 
Oh, man. This thing is really out of date. You invented this? It's not that good. Press start. Press plus. Or select show professor when you're ready to reevaluate your shots. Okay. <laughs> Starting with photo number one. A new ah. discovery. Oh, it's Pikachu. This is the first time you've got it as your subject. The first thing I do is rate each photo from one to four stars. I came up with this system to help us understand and categorize how Pokemon behave. Photos of Pokemon in an ordinary state get fewer stars. More unusual behavior means more stars. So... More unusual behavior meaning what, exactly? Simple enough, right? Like moves. Okay, I thought it was, I thought like like what what do you want? Do you want me to like like if it's hurt? <laughs> to be clear, the number of stars a photo receives doesn't affect its score. Every category is important. Just show a Pokemon their taxes that they gotta do for this month, and then take a picture of their face. That'll get you, like, five stars. Easy. Pokemon in distress. That's what he wants to see. This dude, he's sadistic. Look at him. He doesn't blink. I don't trust this man. By the way, the camera keeps logs of what was happening when you took each photo. That data helps me categorize your photos. Let's move on to the scoring. First, I'll evaluate the subject's posse. Snapping your photo at just the right moment is key to getting a high pose score. Now, on to the other factors. Size is straightforward. The larger your subject Pokemon appears in the photo, the better. Then there's the direction of the Pokemon is facing. Try to get it facing you in your photos. Next is placement. Try to get the Pokemon in the center of the frame for a nice balanced photo. And finally, you'll get bonus points if other Pokemon are in the photo with your subject Pokemon. Now I know that was a little once. Let me boil it down. Remember this and you'll do fine. Get the Pokemon nice and big in the center of the frame, then snap the shutter. With all that in mind, here's your evaluation. Wow, look at all that. Lucky good. Hard to believe you're a beginner. Eh? A new discovery. Next is the Villion, a new addition to our research. I don't know if I'm saying the name right. Oh God! I see it's in flight. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Dude, it's like always in flight. When is it not in flight? I've never seen this thing on the fucking ground. It's like Papillon. Papapelion? Oh sh. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. You guys! You guys! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Leonard is eating. I'm just watching Leonard eat. <laughs> no, it's a good thing. I'm, I'm very happy about it. I left him out food and now he's eating it. That's really good. I hope he likes it. I made it for him especially. I, I, I diced up a bunch of stuff he likes and then I put it into a blender. And, uh... It's just good to see him healthy and eating again. Yeah, some, well, eggy chicken, actually. I will tell him he is a good boy. I will. Oh, boy. That's a relief. That's good to see. I was actually kind of worried he wasn't going to eat today. Anyways, sorry about that. Uh, remember, getting the whole Pokemon in the frame, looking nice and big, is key to a good size score. Yeah, he does seem to be feeling better. Uh, the doctor says he's making a pretty good recovery, so, um, hopefully this will all be behind us and I won't have to worry anymore. I'm still very guarded concerning his health, and I'm watching him like a hawk lately, 
but he's on the upswing because I'm pretty much 200% like zoned in on his health. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yo. Yo. Hold up. How do I how do I get this? How do I Check this out. Check this out. You got to look You got to look at this. How do I show you guys this? Eh? Is there a way I can show this? Oh. Yeah, like that. You go that. Then do that and then Oh. Oh. Oh, well, he was eating. He's in his <laughs> He's, he's very hungry. He's a little camera shy. This is his, um... This is his, uh, tank that I have. Uh, it's a spare tank that I use, basically, when I, when I need to put them in the special needs mode. But, uh, yep, there you go. You want to take a picture of animals? There you go. You see that boy? He's munching. He's camera shy, though. Leave it up. Eh, I'll let you. I'll, I'll pull it up again when he starts actually munching. He was just mostly sniffing it. Uh, remember, getting the whole poke Pokemon in the frame. Look at nice, looking nice and big is key to a good size score. I read that like three times. Eh. That's right, chat. I was so worried about him that I set up a fucking webcam in his goddamn enclosure <laughs> to make sure I always had my eye on him. That's like five stars, honestly. That's a that was a five star shot. What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo decks. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, what? Oh, no, hold on. He was, he was looking the, what are you doing? You gonna grab one? <gasps> Do you like it? Oh, I think he likes this mix. Oh, I think he likes this mix I've made. It's a uh, Rapashi uh, grub pie mixed with like two eggs and like three chicken hearts diced up into a goop and then microwaved into a gelatin and then sliced up into little bits, and he seems to be really enjoying it, actually. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get some more. Get, get, get more. Have some more. He's, he's, he's inspecting. He's smelling it. He's, he's like, oh, man, what is this? this? This stuff's good. What is that? Tasting like egg. Eh? Eh? <laughs> He's a little camera shy. That's right, I specifically ordered four chicken hearts. Ooh! Here we go! I know this is not Pokemon at all, but like, I'm, I'm very, very happy about this. Look at him. Munch! Go munch! Munch, munch, munch! Yeah! Yeah, 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 get a big piece. Get a big piece, bro. It's all his favorite stuff. Little Peggy. Little Peggy boy. That's cute. <laughs> That'll be a great milestone to work towards. All right. That about does it. I think it's time you set off on your own adventure. Now then. That should do... <laughs> See this pod? It'll carry you on your photography expeditions. By the way. It's called the Neo One. Does it put him in the corner? I guess I could do that. Uh, how do I? How do I? Uh, what do I do? Do I just do that and then do that and then I guess 
scale it down to there. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't really work that well, does it? But then, ah, oh shit, you can't see, like, what the name of the... Ah, whatever. He's munching. He's munching and crunching. He's having a grand old time. Ooh, ooh, big bites. Hold up. We got big bites? Yeah? Yum, 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 yum. I chopped it up very fine because he's... He's still a little bit weak. He was, he was a bit sick, but he's getting better now. Clearly, because he's eating. That's so fucking nice. You like his spots? Yeah, his spots are really pretty. He's an Akibonder. What Pokemon is that? Uh, that's, that's, uh, Led, Ledard, Ledardi, Ledardian? It's called the Neo One. <laughs> it's the best. It can teleport to far off places in no time flat. Here's the thing. I finally put the finishing touch on the, the not long ago with a little help from someone I know. Ooh. Oh, we got one. He got a piece. You see, it makes use of energy hotspots scattered throughout the lentil region. Jeez. Come on, Professor. The details can wait. Oh, he, he, he picked one up. Oh. What are you doing? Yep. 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 That's a good boy. Holy shit, I'm so glad he likes that. I worked very hard on that. That recipe. I was like, this is gonna definitely make him hungry. Probably got some, like, stuck on the roof of his mouth. <laughs> so he's like, ow! Oh. That's cute. That's awesome. Come on, Professor, the details can wait. Fair enough. Let's get you moving. Climb on in and touch your camera to the console. What? Oh. Do we? Oh. Oh god, yeah, that is- that- it- that does get really loud. Shit. Hey, uh, Rita, see how girl- Oh, okay, okay, what is- wow, wow, what? Bro, we've mastered warp technology. Huh? That's the entrance to Florio Nature Park. Oh. Look at that. The Neo One will automatically follow a set route. You can just focus on looking around and taking photos. Yeah? Oh, do I have limited ammo? Oh god, I do. Yo, yo, that's that's Grookey. That's Grookey. I know that because I got a card of a Whoa! That's that's buff buff blood! I don't know who the fuck that is. Never seen this one before. Uh. Wow. Meadow pattern. What? Did, did you see that? The fucking squirrel? Where'd he go? Yo, the squirrel's gone. Where's Scyther in the bush? Where's Snorlax? Where's the surfboard for Pikachu? Damn, Leonard's really fucking hungry. <laughs> That's good, though. I'm glad. Use D-pad to spin. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit! Yo, yo, Wurmple! Ah, oh, fuck. I wish I could say hello. Oh man. <gasps> you know, Wurmple's gonna be in Smash. You know that, right? These are just fucking birds, bro. Nobody cares about birds. Yo, that's Carl. <laughs> gotcha. Burp. Burp. Picchu. A grookey. Picchu. I'm grookey. 
in the bushes when the walls fell. Our arms wide. Ah, uh, oh, you've turned away. Oh man, what kind of lizard is Leonard? Leonard is an Aki monitor. It's a dwarf monitor species. They that's he's pretty much almost full grown. They don't get any larger than beardies. Yo, it's Beetoof! Yo, that Beetoof got the dog a dog. More Wurmple. More Wurmple. Hey, face me. Face me. Hero of time. Face me. Do you guys remember when IGN faked that one like Zelda movie? With the dude like dressed up like Ganon? <laughs> they tried to make it look like Lord of the fucking Rings. <laughs> That was one of the best things I think they've ever done. Honestly, that was actually a pretty good thing. Hey Lois, remember that time that they made the, they made the Zelda movie with that over at IGN? Peter, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Florgs. Whoa. She's beautiful! Symbol marks the spot where you'll teleport back to camp. What? Teleport? Basically, it's the end of the course. Oh. When you get back, I'll take a look at your photo. Oh, okay. That boy's sniffing. The boy's sniffing. S sniffing it up. Welcome back. Little, little tongue flicks. He probably likes the bone broth I marinated it in. <laughs> a good trick to getting, um, like a sick snake or like a sick, really like a sick, like insectivore or carnivore in general is to like marinate their food a little bit in some light bone broth. Not too much. It makes it like more enticing to them and gets a little bit of electrolytes in their system. Not too much though, and it's gotta be the organic kind. Don't, don't do the kind with like flour and all that bullshit in it, don't do that. It's gotta be the good kind, the hot, the top shelf kind. So yeah, way, you know, it's not all, all unnatural. Welcome back. I hope you had a good time in Florio Nature. Anyway. And now, just like before, it's time to show me some photos you took. Go ahead and choose one photo per Pokemon. What if it was all just like selfies? Yo, I got a dodger, yo. Oh my god, you guys have been doing a lot of these notifications tonight. Um, Oblivion, thank you for the 18 months. Joshua, 33 months, it's almost three years, thank you. Uh, Casper Cryptid, thank you for the 14 months. Hey, Desi, haven't seen any of this game yet. I'm excited to, uh, to be here. Logan, say hi, says hi to Logan. Oh! Logan is doing very well. And I've been taking him out lately and playing catch with him. And, uh, he's coming a long way, honestly. He's a rescue. He has, like, PTSD. So him, like, wanting to actually play outside is actually really new and really exciting for me. Seriously, I never could have gotten to do that before, like, this month. So he's getting better, too. Yeah. Uh, Garlic Cold Brew, thank you for the four months. Uh, Jesus, guys. Uh, Dear Saban, thank you for the 11 months. Actually, your sub. Hot damn, thanks for all the awesome streams, funny lizard man. Well, you're welcome. Th thank you very much for the support. Calvin No One, thank you for the 31 months. Blah. Blah. The you're almost at three years. How does it feel? Not very crisp. Thank you for the 23 months. Desert. What? She's like... What? Wait, wait, what is this comment? <laughs> Just let her have this. Oh, when I was chastising the characters. Right, right. Yeah. Everyone in this game except for the professor is a baby. Gotta remember. Galfod, thank you for the 47 months. 
desert yet another month gone. Hope you and chat are all doing well. Oh, did he get a big bite? Neob, thank you for the 10 months. Uh, Skybox, thank you for the bits. Larksy, thank you for the 8 months. Hello, Mr. P, it's a new month. I hope this month goes better for all of us. Thanks for the funny streams. Well, you're welcome. Uh, thank you for the support. It's very nice of you. Ah. Uh, oh, jeez. I misunderstood when you said you played catch with him and I thought you were still talking about Leonard. Have you seen that one, like, video of the Tegu, um, like, chasing the egg? <laughs> when it gets, like, super fucking, like, excited. It's just, like, waddling along. <laughs> Hold on. Tegu chasing... Well, it... People think it's a ball. It's definitely a python egg or something. Tegu chasing egg. It looked like a python egg to me. My toy, my toy album on imager. Yeah, this is it. There you go. This is it. This is what, this is what, right here. No? Wait, is it not gonna play? Uh-oh. Un finished unexpectedly. Open video and new tab. <laughs> oh, there's audio to go with it. Maybe it'll play this. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. That's definitely a python egg. That That is absolutely 100% a python egg. Pythons have a lot of eggs, and they're huge, and often, yeah, they're unfertilized, so they... People just... Zoos often, like, feed them to their monitors and stuff. That's a big old treat. That's a big old treat. That's very cute. That's his toy. Oh, man. Where were we? Oh, jeez, thank you guys for the bits. Uh, Captain Dumplin, thank you for the 23 months. Uh, Koivab, thank you for the bits. Uh... It's almost two years, holy shit. Good to see the little guys getting better and seeing you better for it. I recently just got past a very close shock myself considering my cat, Watson. Oh no, I hope he's doing all right. Things are still up in the air, but he's recovering nicely as well. Yeah, same. Uh, Leonard is on the upswing and clearly the medication is working because he is, uh, as you can see, going to uh, Chowtown. He is munching. He is munching and crunching. Look, look, look at this. Look at this, boy. Look at him go. Oh, you missed it. You missed it. He found a piece and was like... Oh, maybe he wants this one. Hmm? Nah, you're swallowing. He is very hungry today. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait for it. Right? Oh. Did you find one you want? Pick your favorite. Pick your favorite. No. He's just taking it slow and easy. He's licking a lot of it. <laughs> Every now and then he picks one he wants. Uh, oh yeah, I should probably uh, do this now. Uh, do 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 uh, Pavilion. Uh, Pavilion. Wow, wow. That is an excellent picture. This is like the Mike Wazowski picture of a volleyball of a volleyball. Gotta get one with this striking a nice posse. Pose. Passe. That's not a Pavilion. I mean, that is, but it's like it's ass. Yo, these pictures are terrible. Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, that that's a good one. That's great. That's great. Oh, did he get one? Oh, yeah, he was chowing down on something down there. Uh. Well, we got. I'm Angie. No talk me, and um. Uh. Uh, 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 Garuki hiding in a bush. Good pictures. Great pictures. I like this one. Buffalant. Yeah, they were there. Desert Leonard just stabbed. Oh, shit. Yeah, look at him. He, he, he got some. He caught some. He caught some. What? 
I'm always too late. I'm always like a second too late. Oh, wait, wait, you gonna you gonna pick a piece again? It's very finely chopped up, so he's probably like taking really tiny bites. Oh, you got one you want? You got one you want? Pick your favorite. He's like, which one's got the chicken in it? He's, he's, he's using his tongue as a test strip to see which one has the highest concentration of chicken. <laughs> worm pull. The worm pull? Look, look at that. Look at that sassy fucking... The, yeah, yeah, that, that sassy worm pull. I like that. And then we got, uh, Florgs. Perfect. This one's perfect. Taylo. They're just birds. Who cares? Swana. That's just Carl. Magikarp. Bidoof. Bidass. Comfy. I only got one of these? Wait, a lot of these were... Why did so many of my pictures of Comfy get I identified as Vivillon? Vivillon. Vivillon. Vivillon? Like, so many. No subject. But those are clearly fucking Wormpulse. It's because the square was on them. Oh. Can you, like, a can you, like, adjust? Can you be, like, actually, that's not... <clears throat> yeah, all right, I'll give it to him. The sound is warbling. It is? It shouldn't be. That might be on your end. I would hear it if it was. It is for me. It doesn't show that on OBS at all. Refresh the stream. Show the professor your your pictures. Leonard is hiding. Nah, he's going over to his hot spot. All right, let's have a look. A new discovery. No, it's not. How is that new? Bro, this Pokemon's been around since, like, 1996. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, it's Dodrio, a new addition to our research. Nice work. Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Nice work. Keep it up. Well done. I, I miss Professor Oak. He said well done a bunch. Remember, getting the whole Pokémon in the frame looking nice and big is key to a good size score. Wow, look at it sparkle. Oh wait, yeah, you can't, really can't see him, he's down- look, that's him. There he is. There he is, look at that. Look at that me. It's very important you see the professor, otherwise... You don't know who's talking to you, it could be anybody. It could be Batman. Next, we've got Vivillon. Vivillon. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna settle this. I'm gonna settle this once and for all. Pronounce Vivil. I've I've honestly never learned how to say this goddamn name right. Vivillon? What? Vivion. Viv Vivion. Vivion. This is literally what Google is saying for the Pokemon species. The American pronunciation. They literally have a category for Pokemon names now. What the fuck? I didn't know about this. Pronounce Charizard. Charizard. <laughs> Charizard. <laughs> what about Raulu? Raulu? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is amazing. I had no idea this was- Riolu. 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 Riolu? Riolu. Riolu. 
Rayquaza. There, this is this is fascinating. Rayquaza. 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 Quay. Hey man, is Google saying? Rayquaza. Uh, it must be right. Okay, let's 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 do a real let's do a real uh, difficult. One. Oh my god, it just fucking gave up. <laughs> I put Kyogre in, and it it doesn't even have a fucking. It didn't even try. It did. It just loaded up a YouTube video. This Pokemon is oftentimes pronounced as Kyogre instead of Kyogre or Ky Kyogre, though is the what? Pronounce it. How to pronounce Kyogre correctly? This is on YouTube. Shelby, why is this a 44 second video? Uh, okay, say it. Say it. What are you doing? What? Unclear Pokemon names. How do you go about pronouncing this one? <laughs> nice work. <laughs> what? Why is this dude talking so gravely? I uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Julian Miguel, for for that mystery solved. Uh, yeah. I mean, he, hey, look, Julian did what Google couldn't. <laughs> I see it's in flight. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. I think I think Letter with the go take a nap. Let me see. Where'd he go? Oh yeah. Nah, he's snoozing. Look. 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 Oh shit. Wait. Get back here. Where'd the camera go? Huh? That camera. Come back. Wait. It's gone. Bring. Send her to screen. Uh, uh oh. I don't know where it went. Oh well. Well, that was fun while it lasted. He's asleep, anyways. There's nothing else to see. I just wanted to sh see him eating. That's all. That that was really nice. You did say he was camera shy. He is a little camera shy, yes. How is he doing? He's eating and he's, you know, basking and he's getting his rest and he's stomping around and he's drinking water and it's do he's doing good. He's doing way better than what he was last week. I was very scared last week. Remember, the closer Pokemon is to looking directly at the camera, the better you'll score on direction. Is he pooping? Yes. And the poop is good. He is looking good. You know, for poop. It looks like it, it's healthy, essentially. That is a good way to actually see, like, if he's doing all right. Which would you like to keep? This new photo or the one in your photo decks? What? The new one. Why would you? It's, it's clearly better in every way. Desert, will you check on my poop? No, Nary, I will not check on your poop. That is... That is disgusting. Why would you do this disgusting thing? Eh? Wow. Next is Pikachu, a new addition to our research. Nice work. Seems as like it's on its way somewhere. Nice work. Keep it up. You hate to see him go. Great job with your sizing. This Pokemon looks nice and big. I... No. It looks small. Those are blades of gra... In, never mind. <laughs> new discovery. Next is Grookey. A new one for your photo decks. Nice work. Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Yeah, everyone's on their way somewhere. Everyone be going someplace. Rookie angry. No talk him. 
The more Pokemon you get in a photo, the more insight it gives us into the area's ecosystem. Wow. Do you check your own poop? I don't need to check my own poop. Discovery. I got a doctor that does that for me. Next, we've got Bufalant, a new addition to our research. Nice work. Always check for corn. At least, you know? Ah, I see. What fascinating behavior. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. The voice you're giving the professor is turning more and more into Joe from Family Guy. It is? Try getting close-ups of the Pokemon's faces, too. Yeah, if you have corn in your poop, and you didn't eat any corn, like, in the last month, someone's slipping corn in your mouth in your sleep. And you should be very worried. Next, we've got Wormple, a new one for your photo decks. Nice work. Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Nice work. Keep it up. Later. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon in the frame. Look at nice and big. Is key to a good size score. I just like the sassy look it has. You know, it looks it looks like it's done with your shit. A new discovery. Next is Florges. Florges. Okay. All right. Okay, Google. Don't fail me now. It's combination of floor, Latin for flower, and gorgeous. But, but it doesn't have the thing for it? It doesn't have the thing for it. Pronounce Squirtle. Squirtle. <laughs> Squirtle. 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 Oh, hang on a second. British pronunciation. Squirtle. <laughs> Squirtle. 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 Pronounce Tigrex. Nope. Didn't, didn't fucking. It's not doing it. It's not doing it. Pronounce Zapdos. Zapdos. A dos? Zapdos. 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 Britain, what the fuck? Zapdos. Yes, correct. Zapdos. Correct. Nice work. Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Nice work. Keep it up. Yeah, uno, dos, tres. What, 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 what Zapdos? It's not MS Dos. Having other Pokémon in the photo is a nice touch. You've never heard anyone British say it like that. Well, now, someone needs to tell Google stop that shit right now. They're spreading misinfo. A new discovery. Next, we've got Talo, a new addition to our research. Nice work. This is a fairly common behavior. Nice work. Keep it up. The more Pokemon you get in a photo, the more insight it gives us into the area's ecosystem. Ask it how it pronounced Pyukumuku. Pyukumuku. <laughs> it doesn't even try! <laughs> nope, there isn't one for it. Nope. Nope. How about... How about Rattata? Nope. <laughs> Uh, nope. Nope, but there's a bunch of YouTube videos on this. Uh, what about Radicate? Oh, this is gonna be weird, isn't it? Radicate. Oh no, never mind. Radicate. Yeah, that's correct. Now, how about you, Britain? You, now you try. Radicate. 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 Eveltol. Eveltol. 
This is actually really interesting. <gasps> there is one! Yveltal. What? Yveltal. I'm surprised. I am act. There's only American pronunciation for this one. <laughs> I want to know how it says Arceus. No! Arceus. Oh! Arceus. That's correct. Wait, oh my god. Arceus. Arceus. They're having an argument. <laughs> Arceus. Yeah, they're different. The British one is Arceus, and the American one is Arceus. 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 Oh my god. Fucking butts. A new discovery. Next is Swana, a new one for your photo decks. Holy shit, both are right. I mean, in the po Detective Pikachu movie, uh, they literally say "Sweet Mother of Arceus." So, I mean, if that's an official product now, but then, what was really confusing was during that like last direct. Didn't they say Arceus? During the um, their presentation of the newer Pokemon game for Legends. So which is it, Nintendo? Is this like a Ristar situation? Where Ristar, Restar, and Ristar are all correct according to Sega? It seems to be swimming. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. I could do it better. Remember, the closer Pokemon is to looking directly at the camera, the better you'll score on direction. The Japanese name for Arceus is Arceus. Yeah, so Arceus. I mean, I get Arc. A new discovery. Like, 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 you know, the Arc of Yamato or or or, or Noah's Arc or whatever. There's a lot of arcs in, in like religious bullshit. So, uh, like, Arx, Arx, Arxius is kind of valid, but it is, uh, actually, uh... Arceus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next is Magikarp. A new one for your photo decks. Nice work. Ah, uh, I see. What fascinating behavior. Nice work. Keep it up. Try pairing Pokemon with striking backgrounds. The Pikachu Assassin Squad will be seeing you shortly. They tried to take me out a few days ago. They failed. Again. And if they try one more time... I don't know. Maybe they won't fail. Ooh. A new discovery. That's a Bidoogadunk. I already made that joke. I'm making it again. It was funny. Next, we've got Bidoof. This is the first time you've gotten it as your subject. Nice work. It seems calm. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Nice placement score. Your subject's dead. Center. So it all feels balanced. <laughs> it's like, I think the Dodrio's dead. <laughs> a new discovery. Next, we've got Comfy. This is the first time you've gotten as your subject. Great timing. This is a fairly common behavior. Good work. This is no easy shot to get. What do you mean? Wait, you just contradicted yourself, though, bro. Bro, 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 bro you fairly common behavior. This is no easy shot to get. This is common. It's not easy to get. What What the fuck does that mean? That, that is a contradictory statement. This is common. This is rare. Comfy. Like, like, comfy? Like, com, like, com, com, comfy and fairy? 
Tab. Interesting backgrounds make your shots even handier for our research. Huh? How was it? So, what did you think? Anyway. One last thing. Let me tell you about research levels. Your research level on a course tells you how much progress you've made there. Once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways you haven't seen before. The key to raising your research level is to observe all types of Pokemon behaviors. Mm -hmm. That means getting photographs of them in every category, from one star to four star. So in short, fill up that photo dex, keep that in mind, and you'll be on the right track. So get out there and snap lots of photos and cherish the encounters with Pokemon you have along the way. Mm -hmm. Our research in this spot is just getting started. I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I should narrate a Nintendo Direct. They sound like that dude. The, the, you, know, you know the guy who goes like... The gates of hell are opening on Nintendo Switch. And then showed the Kirby game. You researched Florio Natural Park for the first time. You got a score of a thousand points or more in the placement category during a photo of evaluation. You got a score of 500 points or more in the other Pokemon category during the photo of... After your research trips, you can choose photos to save to your album, which is in your space in the lab. You can also re-snap to make some changes to photos before you save them. They also probably take up space on your Nintendo Switch. Hope you have a big SD card, idiot. I, I have a 400 gig one, but I, I haven't put it in yet. I still have the stock one. They don't unless you want to. Uh... God. Mm. Ah. Mm. Okay, well, I'm saving this one. Yes, absolutely. That is that is the perfect picture of Wormple. Save that shit. Adjust the brightness angle in other settings. Wait, what? What? The fuck? Blur? Whoa! Enhance! Caption. Where is it going? Yo, we got... Gotta get some... Like... Some fucking, uh... A field of depth. Focus size. No, 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 no. Focus size low. I want it to... I want it the Whirlpool to be, like, popping out. Like, it's... Like, like Whirlpool's really there. It's just it's in your face. It's... Nope. 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 Nope, that's a little... Mm, 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 mm. Blur is just depth of field, but they're dubbing down the language for kids, focus size, the aperture, focal point is the f-stop, etc. I know a little bit about cameras. Look at this. Wow. Wow, so those are some... Please God tell me you get way better filters than this. <laughs> Caption. Where is it going? What? What? I don't know what that was. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm gonna have to look that word up. Is that like a locate? It's a location, I think. It's a small community in the Northern Territory of Australia. How do you pronounce that? Pronounce that word, please. Jawa. You would you should know about that one, right? Because you're 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 Australian. You know everything about Australia, right? How to pronounce this this word? 
Woo Woo Tinogra. Woo Good. Ah, okay. Oh, it's for the indigenous population. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. Ah, yes. Snap a photo. Can you, like, put, like, filters on this? Like, can you give it, like, a smile filter? Snap a photo. Give it a mustache in the editor. How do I edit? How do I uh, do with the mustache? Whoa. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, if there's a way to edit it, I don't know how. There's stickers and other nonsense for mustaches. Oh. That's like later. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that that's a great picture. Uh. I only wanted the worm pull. That's all I wanted. This is honestly the best picture. I'm not gonna top this. You really can't top that. Do you think people eat worm pull? Maybe? I mean, birds probably do, yeah. Um... It's possible. Worm possible. Worm po worm possible. Hey, you guys remember that that funny video that I made of my worm pole when it enters Galar? <laughs> oh wait, no, it's supposed to play the sound. Hold on, wait, go back. It's worse with no sound. <laughs> Where did he go? He went back. My final message. Goodbye. He's not allowed to have the curry for that bacon galar. No wormholes allowed there. Did they ever add wormhole to that game? Is he allowed now? Is he, is he allowed to join the fun? Bro, who's Eevee is at? No, I think so. No. Oh my god. After all this time, that's so sad. That covers just about everything. Hey, so can we go on a nighttime photo shoot later? Not yet, but soon. After a little more practice. Also. By the way, don't forget you can come back to the lab and take a look at your photo decks anytime. <laughs> come back to the lab. We are a little richer. Ah, I tried. I'll explain more about that when you stop by the lab. Anyway. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. Go have a good time and snap some photos. Bro, I've spent over an hour in this tutorial. Most of it looking at my pet eat. And then the other half, like, I don't know, just being fascinated by Wormpole. But honestly, who isn't? Fascinated by Wormpole. Settings. What are you? What? You can change various settings to customize your gameplay experience. You even change some of them. Martian controls. Ooh, this is going to be weird to play with. Adjust the frequency communications for the professor and others during your trip. Often, sometimes, rarely. Let's keep it at often for now. I kind of like, I kind of like, I don't know, you know, just yelling at them, telling them to shut up. <laughs> it is funny to me. Left stick controls, regular, invert vertically, invert horizontally, invert all directions. This is for people who are like upside down in real life. Frame guide. Full, normal, sim what the fuck is a frame, change the type of frame guide? 
pointer speed, camera speed, zoom mode, hold or toggle. I like hold. Uh, let's stick with set one. Wow, this is fully cranked up? You could have fucking fooled me. This game's really quiet. I had to, like, really turn up my mixer for it. Undiscovered subjects routes don't display or display. Wait, this has literally, like, a no spoilers mode? Huh. Kind of neat. Yeah, I haven't really been watching other playthroughs of this, so that's kind of cool. Auto-upload the professor's favorite photos. What do you mean, auto-upload? To where? To my journal? All right. Yeah, there's a spoilers filter. Keep it on. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. That's, that's part of the adventure. That's part of the fun. Research. Lab. I want to go to a lab. I want to put mustaches on my whirlpool. Here. This is the professor's lab. I know that. That's why I came in here. Who are you? Not that it's your first time here, of course. Yo, that chair is from Aperture Labs. What the fuck? This is where the professor does his research and works on mechanical stuff. In fact, he pretty much lives here. All right. Anyway, let me give you a quick rundown of what you can do here. Excuse me. Excuse you what? That server over there is where we store our research work. There are a few things you can do with all that data. First. Rita comes from retouch, by the way, as in retouching photos. Oh, well, that's clever. So where does mirror in? Like, mirror photos? I guess you... I guess cameras have mirrors in them, right? Kind of. I miss Todd and Professor Oak. They didn't talk this much. They were just like, here's a camera, go take pictures of Pokemon. Fuck off, stupid. Did it. Here's some apples. Here's some smoke bobs. Oh, those are fun. Just throw them at Pokemon. Make them pissed off. Who cares? First, you can check your photo decks. That's the encyclopedic re 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 record you're building with the photos you're taking. <laughs> Isn't it cool getting to put together your very own photo decks? Ben. Next, there's your space. You mean my space? Haha. <laughs> Original joke that probably no one else has ever made. <laughs> That's where you can see your personal photo album and adventure milestones. By the way, your album is for photos you want to keep but not put in your photo decks. <laughs> you can edit your album photos in some cool ways, too. Hmm, am I forgetting anything? Uh... Professor! Hey, Professor, was there anything else I was supposed to mention? Also... What the fuck? You said no ye! Zoom it! What you got to go? Go whoosh! Right in there! Zoom! You say his name three times and he will appear behind you and he will not blink. Did you cover what we can do on the internet? Tell lies? Oh. oh yeah, that was it! If we use the online internet feature, you can see photos from players all around the world and get spoiled on the game. If you really like a photo, you can tell the photographer, nice job, by giving the photo a little digital medal. They're called sweet medals. Give all you want. People love getting them. Great. They actually block spoiler photos. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. That's actually really good. That's right. You can also see other photographers' rankings in each score category. Okay. All right. I think that's everything. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Fine. All right. Don't worry about it. Don't be shy. Try everything out. It's anything from a course you haven't been to is censored. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. The photo decks. 
Uh. Wow. Uh. A po Pokemon. Yeah. Show me a photo of, of a Pokemon to make a page for it. On that page, you can move the Pokemon. Press A. See his movements. Hear its cry. You can call names and uh, beat it up and make it cry like a little baby. If you discover it as other forms, you'll be able to see those here too. Make it the Pokemon cry. Photo editing. You can really have fun with your photos by decorating them with stickers and things. As you progress through your research, you'll get more options to play with. I hope you enjoy them! My lord? <sighs> oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on. No, no, no. Can I undo that? I need to undo that. Ah, shit. How do I undo a sticker? Adjust sticker. Uh, this one. But doof. But doof. But doof is on fire. We don't need no water, let that Pokemon burn. I'm dying, Squirtle. Ah. <laughs> uh. Speech bubble. Can you, can you put text in the bubble? Wait a minute, but, but, but... You can have a speech bubble, but you can't put text in the bubble, right? I just- I just want to put, I'm dying, Squirtle, <laughs> in there! That is a thought bubble, though. I mean... Yeah, okay. Alright, yeah, get rid of it, fine. Fair enough, remove. It's just... This one, and then you gotta rotate it, and... Whoa. Yeah, but how do you make it, like, say shit? You have to put a text bubble in it. A text bubble. These are emotes. Speech bubble. Do they let you say die in a Nintendo game? Uh, that's a good question. Pokemon's usually pretty restrictive over what you're allowed to type in them. This is just a twerky reference at this point, honestly. Wait, wait, do I not have words yet? Uh... I guess I can't do that yet. I'm fighting, Squirtle. Some stickers are unlocked by playing, so I guess you unlock a text box at some point. <laughs> this is this is the pinnacle of of of, of, of Pokemon gaming. <laughs> this is great. This is great. It's perfect. It's beautiful. Look at that. You got a frame. Wow. Whoa, whoa, look at all this shit. 
<laughs> something about something about the logo being there like uh, as like as if this is an officially endorsed like like picture is very funny to me is this a fucking oh okay that's just a vignette v uh, the vignette google put out Vignette. 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 British. How you say it? Vignette. Vignette. <laughs> Vignette. <laughs> Vignette. Yes. <laughs> Put out. How to pronounce? Uh, hold on. Wait. Ah, oh, this isn't working. I wanted to pronounce something very specific. It doesn't work. Damn it. Well, anyways, uh. Filters? Oh, right. Huh? Oh, you can adjust, like, levels. Exposed. I, I, I don't see a difference. Oh, oh, ooh, oh, oh, we, oh, wow, that turns the contrast up way, 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 way higher. Whoa! <laughs> this is so dark and foreboding, actually. I really like it like this. There are many things that must be erased. Huh? High contrast. <laughs> It kind of looks like a fucked up Arthur character. No, I. Mm, turn that contrast way up. Turn it. Actually, turn it back down. And then, uh, but, but what, what did, was it? Exposed. The, exposed is the one that looked like. Yeah, like that. Like that. That. That right there. Wait, you can only have one. Give it scan lines. Oh, gross! No. Wait, where is it? Okay. Yeah, I've decided. This is the one. I wish you could, like, combine them. That would be really cool. Save and quit. It's a shame I can't actually write on them yet. Oh, wait. Caption. Nice and calm. I'm... Dying. Squirter? <laughs> Squirtle! What the fuck? Squ what? Nintendo? What are you doing? Nintendo, why is that there? Why is that there? Wait, what happened to my edits? Wait, hold on, wait, uh, uh, wait, what? What happened to all my edits? Upload. It's somewhere else. Oh, okay. I'm dying, Squirtle. Where is it going? Hold on. Edit is in the album. It's saved? Edits are saved to the album, not the photo decks. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, ah. Uh. Eh? You can customize your album photos and lots of things. 
Switch keeps a text log of all the words you have typed, so you want to tell us what you have been typing. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I've been typing, um, specifically, uh, here, let me sh let me, uh, pull up a list. Uh, ba 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 uh, uh, cock, dick, fuck, ass, shit, bitch, motherfucker, poop ass, bitch, big booty, fat poopy, bit piss cum, <laughs> anus, anal, <laughs> <laughs> Poop ass bitch. <laughs> what a list. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a mystery. It's a total mystery. Bro, we talk mad shit in Monster Hunter. I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Wait, hold on. Even... I wish I had a keyboard, even now. The... Evil... Seed... Of... What? Oh. Whatever. <laughs> Germinates within you. Before uploading first time, please select the internet from the lab and read the precautions. What? Bro, I am like 30 or 40 and I don't fucking need this. Just... Oh my fucking god. What? Where do we... Where, where, do, where the fuck do we do this? What? I'll present you with various research titles as you progress through our survey. Check here to see what's possible to go and get your progress on each one. What is this, like, Pokken titles? Yo, Harada said he wanted to make Pokken too. When the fuck is that gonna happen? Internet... Do I need to put safety? Please avoid posting inappropriate content so that everyone can enjoy this feature. <laughs> that is Nintendo. The first rule is to not fucking make it. So <laughs> this is don't draw attention to it. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> inappropriate content can be reported and be subsequently removed. Please refrain from making false reports. Oh my god! Bro, they're fucking serious. I'm here to view photos and rankings of players all over the world. You can customize how you appear online on your page, so please check their views. I don't think my photo will get us banned. My photo is art. Other players' photos don't care. Your page. You can customize your profile here. If you take a photo that you want to show off to players all the world, just upload it here. Uh, uh album. Yeah. Upload. Yes. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at my profile. I'm a beginning photographer. Help. <laughs> Can you see, like, people in your friends list? Doesn't <laughs> are you okay? No, I just I wanted to customize the profile, that's all. Make the next picture the caption at what you have done germinates within you. <laughs> how do I see, um, like, like, Nary, how do I find your pictures, for example? Like, I, uh, I see trending photos. Yeah, I mean, we can't all be Luxleo and they're fucking radical-ass Bidoof. Like, I mean, my Bidoof was, was a king, but... 
I didn't have a corrupt keg. Rankings tab. Rankings tab? Where's... Oh. If you're wondering about various scores and rankings, come here to see them. You can narrow them down to your own language or just friends. Oh boy! My, my, my gigantic switch friends list. There's no data display, it may take some time to update the rankings. Oh. Friends! Whoa! Oh wait, is this... <laughs> you find something unpleasant! You can use the report button to report it! I wonder who this is. You can block someone to hide their name, comments, and photos. Oh, oh my god, they're all, they're all blanked out. A photo on this profile shows the subject to route you have not yet discovered. Display the photo? No, that's okay. I like, wait. I like Buzzswell. Wait a minute. I know who that is. <laughs> I can't believe he's the highest rated person! I don't think that's Jabroni Mike. That's a different Mike. The bus will twit me off. Uh, is that, is that a, oh God, that, 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 that's loss. Yes, the other Mike. It's good to see people having fun and playing games. Photo bombed. Oh, bagel. The bagel. Oh, Natch Cat. Oh, wait, are these all spoilers? Damn. I got way too many goddamn people on my list. Nary, I can't even see in all of these. Or is it loading? I'm using tilt controls. Arrow isn't spoiler, arrow is downloading. Good. 10 out of 10. Oh, wait. So, like... Damn, only... There's a lot of people on my friends list, honestly. Only, like, 20 of you guys? It's only showing the top 20, or, or what? X is spoiler. What's coffee got? What, what's, what's coffee got? I want some coffee. Ha ha, dumb idiot. <laughs> good. Good, 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 good. It shows more. Eh, I want to I want to continue playing the game. Research camp. The fuck is this? Does it how come you're not friends with me? Jawa, I thought I did add you like years ago. You posted a total of one photo online. I've started posting. Great. Ah, uh, yes, the game. Uh. Are you headed out on another expedition already? No. Before you go, let me tell you one more thing you can do with your research camera. You can run a scan. That'll give you details about your surroundings. It tells you about nearby Pokemon and points out anything unusual. Hey, so... Professor, what counts as... You've never given me a solid answer. Oh. Basically, anything that makes a system go... Check this out. Oh. Yeah. Well, I guess that's all the detail we're gonna get. Thanks, dude. Yep. Yep. You'll get the hang of it once you try it, Rita. Would you mind demonstrating? Yep. Leave it to me, Professor. All right, get that camera ready. Eh. Oh, Emperor Penguin Kind, thank you very much for those bits earlier. And, uh, and Pikas, thank you very much for the 10 months. All you gotta do is press the X button. Uh-huh. Try it out. Pokemon 
come on to me and pop up, right? Whoa. I can see everything. And did you also notice that question mark? Eh? Nani? That tells you there's something you can take a closer look at. Gotta take a closer look at this. Move the pointer over the question mark. Okay. Did you see the pointer change shape? Yeah. That's your cue to press and hold the X button to analyze whatever's there. Okay, I was about to say, like, is, is that Pikachu okay? <laughs> okay, hold X. Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try it. it. It's just a... Oh. Now you should see the results. Wow. The Neo One. This vehicle is essential for your Pokemon research. Looks like those bubble cars from, like, Jurassic world where the you know the 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 ones where they they could just go anywhere and then they went off road and then 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 they almost died come to think of it i heard that a friend of the professor came up with the name neo one neo one neo one neo the one the matrix What does it mean? The bottom of your screen, there's something nearby to check out. Mr. Anderson. Surprised to see me? Oh, look at that. What is that? When you see that, try running a scan and taking a careful look around. Oh, right. I almost forgot. There's one more cool thing you should know about scanning. What? What is it? Holy shit, that's fucking amazing. If it gets their attention, that's your chance to snap a photo. The professor calls it an accidental speed cheese feature. That's dumb. Anyway, that ought to cover everything. Okay. Great. Thanks. Thanks for teaching me how to use a camera. Professor. Hey, professor. Explanation's all done. Thank you. Thanks, Rita. Don't hesitate to run a scan. It'll tell you a lot about your surroundings. It tells me you're a dweeb. I ran a scan on you, bitch. Okay, let's go to an adventure. Try taking lots of photos of Pokemon at the nature park during the day. Oh, right. After each expedition, you can save photos on your personal album. You can make last minute changes with the restart function, too. Yeah, okay, whatever. Okay, let's do this again. Good luck. Uh, good, good luck. Okay, I got that one. There we go. What, 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 that, one, that, one, that one's like, what the fuck that? Uh, oh, right. I have tilt controls. Uh, oh, shit. This is making this actually kind of harder. Uh, what's that sandwich? Kill them all? Good idea. Uh, oh, God. Oh god, I'm really bad at this. Uh, uh, jeez, oh. Uh, hello! Um. Capture their souls in the pictures. Well, well, yeah, this is, this is the new Fatal Frame. They should make a Fatal Frame Pokemon edition in Lavender Town. I think that would go over very well. Ooh. Oh wait, 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 where's the squirrel? I remember, I remember there was a, a squirrel. The squirrel's gone. Apples. 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 How about them apples? Wow, mushrooms. What the fuck is that? Crystal bloom. Yo, that warble, warble on tree, warble on tree. Tree Warble! Tree Warble! Desert, scan. Uh, scan. Scanning, run. Scan. Boop. I forgot. Quick turn with the D-pad. Right. D-pad. 
There he goes. Beep boop, scanning. Beep boop, beep. Uh. Hello? Grookey. Pikachu. Wow. That, that Magikarp is dying, bro. Is he gonna be, is he gonna be okay? I think it's fucked up how much beavers hate water. They keep trying to stop it. Huh? It was asleep. Uh... Whoa. This would be kind of sick in VR, honestly. I'm surprised, like, no one's ever done that. Desert scan! I did! The desert scanning is... Nothing's showing up on the scanner, sir. Ah. Uh, whoa. Halo. Halo, Halo. Whoa. Okay, crystal boom. Yeah. Got that shit. It got that shit. What else is there? It's time. It's time. Comfy. You keep missing the scan window. I know. I'm looking at all the Pokemon and the flowers. They're so pretty. This game is really good graphics. Wow. All right. All right. Well, that that was great. Mission accomplished. The second image is from the VR photography game I'm working on. You're making a photography game? Oh. Larry, I can't show this on Twitch. These pictures are verboten. No, I'm baiting you. Oh. Ah. Uh, let's upload this one. Yeah, I think they'll like that one and uh, this one. Yeah, for sure. Totally. I mean, I think... I would compare... I, I think that's way better. Look at that. Look at that range of emotion. You got like... You got like two of them angry and one of them's like pouty. Do it a literal duck face. Show the professor. Now then. <laughs> he did the glasses thing. Oh, it's Dodrio. Seems brave and bold, doesn't it? Nice work. Are you fucking shitting me? Oh, wait, that's the new photo. The old... It... Okay. So the old photo was better then. All right. I had it... Uh, I had it rearranged. It seems calm. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Nice placement score. Your subject's dead center, so it all feels balanced. I want to keep this one. Also, this game ignores the rules of artistic photography. It's research photography, so ignore the rules of thirds and center. So what you're telling me is that I... That, oh, um... That I... That, um... You know, you can't do, um... You know, um... The... the um... You know, um... Uh, the, the, the thing, the, the funny, uh, the, the funny ratio. Don't do that. Doesn't matter. Literally, why the fuck is every image of this thing that I'm trying to put on screen failing? The, that, that thing. I was gonna, gonna stretch it over the screen. There. It's golden, baby. And then, uh, what we do is we, uh, chroma key. Out. 
the titanium plate. Oh. Well, wait. Well, wait. But, but, but now I can't see it. Hold on. Wait. No. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess that didn't really work out too well. What if I censor out blue? Oh, what? Huh? What the fuck? Smoothness. Whoa. Just want a little bit of it. Just a little bit of it. And lower the opacity. There. It'll be our little secret. Now we'll take perfect photos all the time. Desert, that's cheating. All right. Fine. Nice work. Oh, it's a one-star photo. That's great. I see it's in flight. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. The more Pokemon you get in a photo, the more insight it gives us into the area's ecosystem. Literally... Oh, I guess because there's more Pokemon in it, right? Next is Magikarp. It's a one-star photo. That's new! Nice work. Ah, I see. What fascinating behavior. It looks like it's dying. Nice work. Keep it up. One star doesn't mean bad photo. It just means it's a common pose. Oh. The more Pokemon you get in a photo, the more insight it gives us into the area's ecosystem. The other one, it's jumping. I leveled up. I'm a level two photographer. All right. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. Huh. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Uh. Is it that Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate is coming to PC on Steam? No? I don't want to hear about it then. Big booty fuck shit ass. Nary, you can't say that. You're a mod. Only I can say that. Only I can do that. You have to be polite. These are the sacrifices you make! Wow. For that... green sword... next to your... name. Your photography seems to be going well. Anyway... I think you're about ready for a nighttime visit to Florio Nature Park. Here's the thing... Yo! Is that a fucking... Is that a... That's Weedle! Yeah. Yes, yeah, Weedle. Holy shit, is that Mewtwo? That's a new Pokemon. I've never seen that one before. That's Weedle. No, that's Weedle. <laughs> it's Pikachu! <laughs> Wait, where was that video of the dude going like, like screaming at the who's that Pokemon thing? <laughs> I think I found it. I think I found it. Hold on. Is this it? Is this the one? Is it... Warning might be loud. Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! It's the <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you'll get to see one of Lentil's greatest wonders, a glow called the Illumina Phenomenon. What is this, like Chernobyl? Like we got radioactive Pokemon here? You're the one who discovered how that glow happens, right, Professor? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am, but explaining the process scientifically was just one step toward my ultimate goal. 
Finding the special Pokémon spoken of in the Legends of Lentil. You mean the Illumina Pokémon? I thought they were made up. No, it's called Bioluminescence, you idiot. They're very much real. You've seen the photos from Captain Vince's travelogue, haven't you? What? You can barely tell what's in those photos. And they're ancient anyway, literally a hundred years old. Your mom's a hundred years old. All right now. Well, we can discuss that later. For now, enjoy your nighttime outing. Oh. Doobie poster. You got a total of one sweet medal online. You received the research title Doobie poster. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go on a nighttime trip. No. We're gonna find Bigfoot and a Mothman and a Flatwoods monster. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sit down with all three of them and take take selfies. Here on Florio Island, people work to protect nature and live with together with Pokemon. You mean like everywhere else in the world? That's not exclusive to Lentil. This is the after dark photos. What what the, 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 what is this buddy doing? Squad buddy! Go to bed! <gasps> Watch for differences in their behavior. Whoa, look at it go. It is hauling ice. What? Oh. 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 Yo, that's that's a fucking just just that's that's Articuno. Oh, never mind. Too was scared to wake him up. What's up, mate? Yep. That pissed off something. Wait a minute, what? Something's like angry. Yo, Caterpie. Do you remember the sounds that Caterpie would make in the show? It would go like... It didn't say like Caterpie, like other Pokemon. I think something was wrong with it. <laughs> he was in pain! Yo, Murko! Wait, no, that's not Murko. Wait, well, that's the Swata. Wait, where are the Murkrow? I thought I just saw some. I missed them. Damn it. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's someone over there. Mushroom. What? Bentley? Big Bentleys. Oh, God. Many big Bentleys. Bentleyons. One of these might be Bentley. Well, well, that, that's, a, that's a girl. That's Bentilda. <gasps> Jesus Christ, I forgot how huge Pidgeot was. That's a gold crown Pidgeot. Eh? <laughs> What? You know what's fucked up is that they actually have two legs and they keep the other leg hidden. For like 15 years, I swore that Pokemon only had one leg. Yo, ducklets. Duck, duck, ducklets. Same? Yeah, that was a fucked up thing to learn. That it actually had two legs. Like, that's like that, it's normal. That, that is what's fucked up. Come, peace! Come, peace! This fucking score bunny is gonna cause a fucking fire. 
<gasps> it's time to scan. What? 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 What did we reveal? What do we do? Go to bed. Bentley, go to bed. What? What is it telling me to scan? Oh wait, something's here. Huh? Nani? Crystal Bloom. Little smart ass. <laughs> you gotta hold X over the scan item. Oh, you don't just press it? Right, right, right. I forgot about that. Yeah, I did. I actually did forget about it. Oh boy, it's my first day. This first day taking photographs of strange creatures. Just uh, give me a moment and um, I'll, I'll get it down. Don't worry. Does it or fire? Oh. Okay. We've got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. <laughs> I think that's the best one. What do you guys think? These are not pictures of Spider-Man. No, they are not. Bullflunk. That's cute. This was big. Combies. There's, there's a combo of combies there. I like, I like this Caterpie. He's chill. I would have that one as, uh, as a Pokemon if I had to train one. I would want a chill caterpie. Nah, these suck. Well, I guess I should upload one. Maybe one. <coughs> Wait a minute, why is that not... How is that not a score bunny picture? What the f What? Ah, yes, Torterra. The flame rabbit Pokemon. Score Bunny was the subject. That's Torterra, dude. Yeah, but that's fucking. What? Always pick one. It ups your research score. Oh, okay. I like. I like that. Yeah. You know, gotta. You know what? This one's cooler because it's like standing on a podium. Uh. This one, yeah. No subject. You cannot select a photo with no subject, but but that's a really good picture of a mushroom. You got to aim and make sure the square identifies the Pokemon you want as the main focus, like a phone. Oh, time to check these photos. Oh, it's Score Bunny. This is the first time you've got it as your subject. Nice work. It must be in a hurry. Nice work. Keep it up. He's on her way. He's on his way to steal your girl. Bruh. Photographing from different spots might help you get better angles on Pokemon. Hmm. Mm. Next, we've got Bufalant. It's a two-star photo. That's new. Nice work. It looks like it's fast asleep. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. This reminds me of that one, like... What is that one website, like... Are they dead or are they asleep? Like, like photos of old people. <laughs> no, -oh, this person is deceased. This person is asleep. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Does it what? <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Wait a minute. Dead or asleep? The, you know that one fighting game? Yeah, I wish I didn't, but I do know what that is. Yeah. It, what, what, what? What is that from? Dead or just sleeping? Hold on. 
Does my soul sleep after death? What? What? This is the weirdest Google search ever. I think it was like a like a clickbait article or something. Dead or asleep? Extreme beach volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> There's also lava or lasagna. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's you can't start on stream. Yeah. But you know what I can show on stream? What now? What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Go cry. <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually what Toaster Josh looks like in real life. The better you center Pokemon, the higher your score of level. There's a website called Pointer Pointer that will use photos of a point at your cursor no matter where it is. What if you ran that the ending of Pokemon Sword and Shield through that? Would it find the cursor that was like <laughs> left in the, one of the shots? <laughs> no. Do you remember that shit? It doesn't use image recognition. Wait, do you, but the ending to Sword and Shield, like the credits, the mouse cursor was left in one of the images. Credits, sword, and shield, mouse. Trying to find it. Mouse in credits. Yeah, it, it's specifically like a picture of like Rillaboom's ass. They left the mouse pointer there. <laughs> yep. There it is. Good. And just so you could see it, like, actually as the credits. Hold on. Let me get the fuck. Let me get the image, please, Google. You got it. You're making it, making my life difficult. Right now. Yep. Beautiful. That's it. That's a Pikachu. Oh, sorry. My bad. A new discovery. Next is Pidgeot, a new addition to our research. Nice work. It seems calm. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. How did they not see that? Uh, to please understand. Uh, uh, the, uh, Masuda works very hard on his video games. It takes a lot to take a picture. Great job with your sizing. The Pokemon looks nice and big. That Nintendo polish. Oh boy. A new discovery. Next we've got Combi. A new one for your photo decks. Nice work. I see it's in flight. Nice work. Keep it up. Isn't it true like if if a bee like doesn't fly, it dies? Wait, no. No, wait, no, that's, that's sharks. Sharks, sharks, if they, if, no, wait, no, it's not, wait, what? No, what? You're thinking of a hummingbird. No, hummingbirds, that, like, have nests and stuff. Bro, I've seen a hummingbird, like, in its nest, like, 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 you know, laying on its eggs. It was very, very cute. It was very tiny. Sharks can fly? Yeah. Don't, don't. Let, you know, don't, don't tell anyone, but they do. <laughs> it's sharks can't stop swimming. But what about bamboo sharks? If they're fucking like stationary all day. That's bullshit. Have you ever petted a shark? They're smooth lions. It's great. Yeah, their skin is made out of their teeth. And if you rub them the wrong way, you can get cut actually. They are smooth, only one direction. 
literally the other direction is not so smooth and hurts. Yeah, they got, they got, like, denticles. They got, like, de dentition skin. De 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 Daddy. Having other Pokemon in the photo is a nice touch. A new discovery. <laughs> Fail! House cursor in end credits? <laughs> Fucking love YouTube thumbnails like that. <laughs> Fail! Next is Caterpie, a new addition to our research. He's hiding. You can't see him. Bro, don't... You gotta... At least pretend you can't see him. He's doing his best to camouflage himself. It seems calm. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. It looks afraid. Remember, the closer a Pokemon is to looking directly at the camera, the better you'll score on direction. A new discovery. Next is Ducklet, a new addition to our research. Nice work. It seems to be swimming. Nice work. Keep it up. Remember, the closer Pokemon is to looking directly at the camera, the better you'll score on direction. Mm. Next is Swana. It's a three-star photo. That's new. That is... What? What? How the... F how the... How the how the fuck is that three stars? How how how, bro? What what, what excuse you? Stars is not score. Stars are poses. Oh, oh yeah, that's nice that's work. gonna be weird to get used to. Sorry. Ah, I see. What fascinating behavior. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. But that's confusing. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon in the frame looking nice and big is key to a good size score. Um, I'm I'm no mathematician, but I'm pretty sure uh, uh that that Pokemon takes up literally one thirty second of that frame. We got like that's like a Bigfoot photo. Looking nice and big there, yeah. A new discovery. Next is Torterra, a new addition to our research. Nice work. Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Actually, it wasn't going anywhere at all. It was literally just standing there. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Thanks. Your placement's looking good. Centering your subject balances the photo well. Next is Murkrow, a new addition to our research. Nice work. I see it's in flight. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. It's nice when the subject faces the camera. You can tell a lot from a Pokemon's expression. Wow. A new discovery. Next we've got Hoot Hoot, a new one for the Thotodex. Nice work. It seems calm. Nice work. Keep it up. Don't you tell me what to do. Great job of getting the Pokemon to look straight at you. Eh? Okay, great. This is a Florio Island Crystal Bloom. That glow is what we call the Illumina Phenomenon. I learned how the Illumina Phenomenon works by studying these flowers.
Oh, oh, now you have nothing to say? Oh, great. Thanks. 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 Thanks a lot. Yeah, good. Good. Good bit. Damn it. <laughs> bit fucking ruined immediately. I imagine the Pokemon behave differently at this hour. Keep up the good work. Oh. That's my bad box. You got a score of 1,000 points or more in direction category during a photo evaluation. We went on your first expedition. Park not. You registered a flurry a while and crystal bloomed to your photo decks. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Ah, uh, save photos, job. Um, uh, I didn't really take many I think I care about, but I don't know. Yeah, I like this one. I'm gonna save this one. Everyone probably saves this one. Also, uh, oh, jeez. I'm missing a lot of these notifications again. God damn it. Uh, Sissy Blade, thank you for the five months. Let's go for five more months. Oh, God. I don't know. I might not live that long. Well, we'll try. Yuse, thank you for the bits. Uh, I am a pain. Thank you for the 25 months. Hey, Desi, how's Pokemon Instagram treating you? Um, I took a picture of a rabbit and it said it was a turtle. Well, is that Midgar? <laughs> Something incredible has happened. Sector 7 has Here, fallen. Take a look at this. <laughs> Here's the thing. When you got near that field of flowers, I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Also, its source seemed to be moving too, if only slightly. Which suggests what we've got here is. Pokemon! <laughs> we can't be sure yet, but I suspect so. I wonder why it showed up. Did you do anything special? Nope. Just went out there with my camera and snippity snap. I took a crap. A load of pictures. I also doubt that it appeared when it did by chance. <laughs> so I think you should be the one to investigate the area where that reading is coming from. What? Oh, I want to go see too. You can watch through the monitor with me, Rita. All right. What? Why? Why? What? What? what, what, what uh, whatever. Please head out as soon as you're ready. Why are you sending me? Is this job dangerous or something? <laughs> We're gonna watch this kid get eat alive. <laughs> This job is actually life-threatening. <laughs> Yuse, thank you for the bits, dude. Um, can I share a link with you regarding Kyogre? Is it, uh, is it the dude, like, pronouncing Kyogre? Because we watched it, and, well... He has a very soothing voice, but, uh... He takes forever to actually say the name. I'm a pain. Thank you for the 25 months. Hey, Desi, how's Pokemon Instagram to you? I just read that. It's going good. I... Then you got the double thank you. Thank you. Etchy Sketches, thank you for the two months. Minna Koopa, thank you for the four months. Tier three. Holy shit. You sure about that? Give me the purple lizard. You want the purple lizard that bad? Well, okay. I mean, I'm not gonna say no, but... <laughs> yep, there it is. There's the purple lizard. <laughs> My god. Well, thank you. That's very, very kind of you. I hope you enjoy it. If you ever want to roll that back, go right ahead. Seriously. But that's very kind of you. Thank you. W one man against the odds. Thank you for the bits. One star... Oh, oh, what's... Oh, okay. You're still explaining the star system. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'll learn eventually what the star systems are. 
Give me Pagona Smee. I can't just give them to people. Do you know what kind of paperwork I have to go through just to get Pagoda Bot emotes? It was like one email. It took me all day. Typing is very hard. In case you haven't noticed, I often misspell things. That's why he can hen low, by the way. <laughs> they gave me the hookup. I was like, hey, I got I got this. I got this robot. And it wants to say hello to people. And they're like, alright, we'll do it. And then they do it, and now he do it. See? Hen low. Hen low. YouTube can't see. If only you could see what I could see. You too would know true fear. Because you would see chat. Let's go to the Illuminous spot! Well, that's definitely where the reading was coming from. Do you see or hear anything? Is that a Tyranitar...? Megaloganium? Megaloganium? We're gonna have to name you Megalovania. Damn. Damn, bro. The Illumina Pokemon. Quick, get its picture. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It's like Diddy Kong Racing. We gotta... Hello, hello, hi, hello. <gasps> oh God. Uh, yes, it's doing the thing. Yes. Work it, work it. F fucking, it's, it's like. <laughs> This is the boss! Power up! Whoa! Go! I just remember Prince Trickle always being like, <laughs> There it goes. What is this music? My child, do you not know the good word of Diddy Kong Racing? The game that featured the amazing, rememberable character, Bumper the Badger. A and to top the turtle. Hi, I'm Bubba. We've got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. Who? You know, Bumper. Bumper the Badger. A and Timber the Tiger. You know, the, 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 the iconic rare characters. Yeah, that's a great shot. That's cool. This one's two stars. Ooh. Two stars. Wow. I think that's five stars. 
This one looks happy. This one, they look it over, they show it like, like they know, they know. Also the rooster named Drumstick. Dude, that's a spoiler. Don't spoil Diddy Kong Racing, bro. All right, let's have a look. A new discovery. Oh, it's a Mag Meganium. A new addition to our research. Meganium? Meganium? Mega Man. Google, pronounce Meganium. Oh, I I, per I accidentally typed Mega Manium. Oh my god, it has it. Meganium. Meganium? Meganium. Meganium. Whack. Like geranium, yeah. Or, or, um, or, uh, b b um, um, b bananium. Or uranium. Yeah, that's another element. Uh, but I, I like vanadium more, though. <laughs> Looks happy, doesn't it? Perfect timing. You did wonderfully. Interesting backgrounds make your shots even handier for our research. Solarian. Solaris? What is the Sino Gears? All right. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. You got a score of 5,000 points or more on a photo evaluation. So, what do I do with these points, Professor? What am I doing with them? Why do you give them out? Surely they are a currency for something. What do I exchange them for? Nothing. Oh. oh. Okay, damn. In store credit. S -s -s Sorry, Desert. I don't give credit. You've got a score of a thousand points aboard the post category. <sighs> you were interested in a little bit of Pokemon. Uh, a fucking, um. Meganium. Meganium to your photo decks. <sighs> You received the research title, A Gentle Wonder. Oh. Cell shaded. Oh, nice. By the way, now that we've got that Illumina Pokemon info, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. So are these points like the theoretical dollars that, like, you know, that YouTubers are worth? But we, uh, we actually don't make, like, fucking anything. At least I don't. I don't really. I guess I don't really try that hard, though. <laughs> I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Yeah, you said that before. I wasn't. Is it gonna be Final Fantasy VII Integrated? Is it gonna be on PC? No? Then shut up, stupid. Go. Take a picture of a butt. Butthead. You're back! Yes, you're back! Uh huh. That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? And was it saying something? Yeah, it said, uh, um, Baba Booey. Baba Booey. I'm a Magadia. Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Easy there, Rita. Take a deep breath. It said... Did you asshole do not have cheese snacks? Fuck you. <laughs> Look who's talking! You were practically dancing, Professor. <laughs> Moving on. 
there's no doubt about it. That Meganium was an Illumina Pokemon, just like in Legends. Wow. Remind me what the Legends say about Illumina Pokemon again, Professor. Didn't they supposedly save Lentil from a huge disaster a long time ago or something? Mm -hmm. So the story goes, yes. Also. What? Illumina Pokemon were also said to have distinctive patterns and glow with unusual light. <gasps> Sounds like our new friend! Right. Yes, to the letter. I'm convinced the events in those legends really did happen. And discovering the true history of this region could be the key that opens up all of our research. Oh. Hang on, wasn't there one more important thing you were going to mention, Professor? You got like all serious, scary for a second, and I don't know what they were. Oh, okay, dude. This guy's got like a fucking anti monster back lab in his basement or something. That's all right. It's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation from here tomorrow. The finale of this game will be that your funny little cart, like, is the pilot seat to a Megazord, and you will fight. Bye. A giant buzzswoll that is glowing and radioactive and threatening to smash the planet. <laughs> but his only weakness is the flash of a digital camera. Yeah, it's gonna escalate really quick. Watch. Good morning. Did you manage to get some sleep? Nope. Never. Never. Ever. 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 Now, as Rita already told you, Here's the thing. I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire Lentil region. And no sooner had you arrived than we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. Huh? Never? Ever. Also, did I sleep outside? Because you said good morning, and I, I, like, I blacked out, and then we were out here, and... And, and then you were like, good morning, and then we're out here, and then um, there, Evie's sheriff, and we're out here, and I just remembered. You think there's a connection, Professor? I can't be sure yet. But fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Really? Really? <laughs> well, you know, m maybe. Jeez. Why do you wear goggles? No, really, what is he doing with goggles? Are you a chemist? Or are you just, like, trying to look like a scientist? Like, yeah, got, uh, definitely scientists, you know, you, you gotta wear them around your neck. You never know when you're gonna need them. Do the sciencey stuff. I, I have a pair of goggles. I always wear, wear them. I have them right now. <laughs> They're nightmare goggles. When I put them on, <laughs> everything looks better. For a scientist, you sure can be vague sometimes, Professor. You should see my tweets. Still, I think it's a good idea. It'll be way more fun with you along. Right. Well, there you have it. Ready to officially join our research team? He, that's right, chat. He vegs on main. Oh, cool. Pre-rendered graphics. Excellent. Well, then, let's make it official. With a team badge. <laughs> I have never in my life seen a scientist use that time of safety goggles. You mean type? Yep. Uh, you will, you will, yeah, first of all, those suck for safety goggles because they don't have rims that really go over the sides of your face. So basically, if you do happen to get splashed by a, like hydrochloric acid, for example, it will get onto your temples and it will burn through your eyeballs and get into your retinas. And then who's gonna be the, um, who, who's the sciencey man then, then, stupid? Nobody, cause you're dead, you die. Haha. <laughs> Funny. It's like you were born to wear it. Right. What am I wearing? I'm sorry. 
you just become Two Face. Yeah, that's what happened to Two Face in, in Batman. He 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 didn't wear the right kind of goggles, and so <laughs> his face was melted off. Holy shit! Is that a dog? Well, what are we waiting for? Adventure awaits. Not to rain on your parade, Rita. I almost said, not not to rain on your parita. That would have been weird. But I need to get a couple more things ready first. Aw, oh, come on! Just a little bit longer, all right? I promise it'll be worth the wait. Not to rain on your burrito. <laughs> Parita? That sounds like a Pokemon name. It would be like a pinata. A party pinata. It would be a pinata wearing a party hat. Parita. Pinata. <laughs> Actually, they haven't done a pinata Pokemon, have they? What the fuck? Well, um. Uh, uh, well, if you, if the next game has one, um, I'm suing. <laughs> they'll, they'll get Viva Pinata lawsuits. <laughs> oh, God. Who's the dude who made the ice cream Pokemon? Oh, 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 not, not, um... Ah, fuck. You used to know his name. The guy who started working on... Oh, James. Yeah, James. If you see... If he copies my stuff, James Turner, calling you out. Calling you out. Dustin, are you okay? No, I'm never okay. I, I'm, I am... Oh, shit. You officially joined the Lentil Reach Research Team. Ludicolo is a pineapple. He do be like a pineapple, though. You officially joined the Lentil Research Team. What other Pokemon did James Turner make? He made Ice Cream Mon. Uh. Teacup Mon. Uh. Hangry Mon. Oh, did he make Tyrantrum? He did? Golurk? He made Golurk, one of the best mons in the franchise. True, yeah, that, that I do like Golurk. They're very, very cool. They're like a they're like a big old mech golem. Yep. I kinda like them though because they remind me of like, I don't know. Like Dragon Quest Golem kind of thing. He did not make Tarantrum. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure he wasn't even working for, like, Game Freak when that Pokemon was the thing. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like, it, but that wasn't Satoshi who made it. It was probably, uh, Hitoshi. Yeah. He was? Did he work for Game Freak back then? No way. What? His first game was Colosseum, wasn't it? Tyrantrum was Gen 6. Wait, who am I thinking of? Tyranitar, that's who I'm thinking. I'm thinking... I am so stupid. I am thinking Tyranitar. <laughs> they can't do this. They can't just name that poke. That sounds like it. it they should be related. Yeah, Tyrantrum was the was the T-Rex that I didn't opt for. I got the uh what was the other option? The 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 frilled one. The one the ice one. What was it? It was Tyrantrum and um Aurorus. Yeah. I I used that Aurorus a ton. I I fucking that that thing was part of my main squad for a long ass time. I don't care if people don't like it. It was good. I thought people said it sucked. Aurorus is really good. Aurora Borealis. Well then, I've been... Great, great. 
I guess I was listening to the wrong people. Oh, boy. Some Pokemon are sensitive to the sound and signal of the scan function. Okay, so that was a thing. I used Aurorus a lot because I, at the time, had a frilled lizard, and I, you know... <sighs> Unfortunately, they had a really bad genetic card dealt to them, and their liver gave out. And it was- it really fucking sucked. Not to bring a mood down, but yeah, back then I had a frilled lizard and... Um... I named it after him. He was a good boy. But yeah, his- his liver just failed. Um, and they said there was nothing I could have done about it. Did you use Heliolus too then? Yes, I did. I did. And I still think they're one of the best pets I've ever had. And Heliolus is one of the best Pokemon. Yeah, no, it happens. Especially with, like, okay, here's the thing. I mean, to go on a bit of a tangent here. When you get a exotics that are, like, most likely being farmed in Indonesia, fro lizards especially are pretty goddamn common. I don't think there's really any net like, local breeders in the United States. Well, at least, there weren't back then. There might be now. But, um... They tend to be pretty runty sometimes, and they can... They'll... They can have a lot of genetic problems, unfortunately. And parasites! You gotta be kinda careful with those, uh, exotics that, like, are a little bit more of the exotic exotic, you know what I mean? Like, if, if they're not common to find, like, a bearded dragon, um, or even now Acubonitors actually are being bred in the U.S. Yeah, it sucks. You, you, you kind of can get very unlucky very easily, and unfortunately, I was unlucky, but I still enjoyed my time with them. They were, they're, they're, they're really cool lizards. Honestly, they are. He would, like, he would, like, furl up at, like, the most random shit. <laughs> it was... It was cute. I mean, it meant he was scared, but, like... Sometimes he would just get surprised just by something moving a little too fast. But he would just hang out with me while I played games and stuff, just on my shoulder. He used to, like, nestle into me. It was cute. <laughs> Is Leonard still asleep? Yeah, Leonard went to sleep. Now that you're a full-fledged team member, I have something that'll come in handy. Here's some apples. How about them apples? As for the explanation, would you do the honors, Rita? Yes, sir. Huh? But is it just me, or have you been getting me to do a lot more of the work lately, Professor? I mean, aren't you a student? You, she's, she's, what the fuck? What? Huh? Huh? Uh, uh. What the? What the? F Chat, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck? The professor was just a hallucination. He's called Professor Mirror because he's a mirror image. He's not real. Oh, wait, he's back. Oh, well, try to explain like the great assistant I am. Are you gonna explain him? Are you gonna explain the professor? So this is... This is a fluff fruit. They grow here in the lentil region. Yes, but the professor. What, what, what the fuck just happened? They're sweet and tasty. They make a great snack for Pokemon. Yeah, but, but lay, uh, listen, listen, Rita. <laughs> Rita. <laughs> Look at the fruit fruit, isn't it great? Rita, the professor just fucking dematerialized. His atoms are split and they're all around us. They may look just like regular apples, but they're way lighter and softer. He got fucking beamed up by Scotty to the Enterprise. Beam me up, Mr. Scott. <laughs> 
<laughs> he disappeared like Mario. <laughs> My God. <laughs> You needed him for VR chat. Oh, oh, so you took him away, Nari. Okay, so Nari extracted his model, that's all. <laughs> You'll probably make a Pokemon's day if you toss but in one of these. I love how they literally specify you're throwing a light and soft fruit so it doesn't seem like you're hurting Pokemon. Yeah, do you remember the, the fruit in the original game? The ones that went punk and like bounced off of them and they went like, ah, oh, and it would make them like dizzy and they would <laughs> inflict pain. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> it still does that. That's fucking hysterical. Wait for it. <laughs> that is going to drive me crazy. <laughs> you don't hear the Pikachu running around panting? Going... <laughs> it's like in your left ear. You'll probably make a Pokemon stay if you toss right. it one of these. Let's get you some practice. Does it if I chucked an apple at you, but it was lighter and softer than a regular apple, would it bother you? Yeah, I'd, I'd probably... I'd probably get up and fight you, honestly. <laughs> you can throw a fluff fruit by pressing B. Give it a try. Go on. Pelt Pikachu with fruit. Pelt it with apples. That is not soft. I'm mashing the button to see if it'll throw more. Um, that is not a soft fruit. Did you see how that thing bounced? You can move the pointer around to aim your throw. That was a solid object. It's the same as aiming your camera. She sounds familiar. Oh, yeah, it's limes. Just move the left stick to aim, then press the B button to throw. <laughs> It's not lines. <laughs> Give it another try. <laughs> Die. Oh. Take a few more practice throws. Die. Huh? Oh, looks like you startled it. But these are the great, so it'll be fine. Oh, I'm 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 giving it everything it wants. It, it's like that one video of the golden retriever that's like given like literally a dump truck of like tennis balls and it it, it is like literally the happiest dog I've ever seen. Like that dog went like wild when it saw like all the tennis balls fall around. <laughs> it was like going nuts trying to get them all. You guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Hold on. Golden Retriever Tennis Balls Video No? Dog gets thousands of tennis balls Dog's dream comes true Yep, 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 found it I, oh, 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 it wasn't a Golden Retriever, it was a lab this video is actually adorable. This isn't like a... This is just cute. I like cute things. You don't like it? Fuck you. Wait for it. Hold on. Is, wait, doesn't it... Doesn't it like... Does, is it, isn't there like... <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that dog is having such a good time. <laughs> Holy shit, that's cute as shit. Don't forget what I told you, okay? It was 300 used tennis balls. Oh my right? god, a local tennis instructor gave us them. That's amazing. That's really cute. <laughs> 
Yeah, Logan Logan likes like this little like fluffy egg thing. That's like his favorite um, ball that he likes to play with. He always throws it at me when he wants to play and his eyes get super wide. It's fucking cute. And I throw it and he goes for it and he gets really happy. He does a spin, he, he gives it back. <laughs> He's asleep behind me. Pretty easy, right? I think that should be all you need to know. So I guess now we just wait until the professor gives us the green light to move on. Oh, I've got an idea. You should try testing out fluff fruit and taking some more photos in the meantime. The professor says there are all kinds of ways to use it. Hello. What the, what the Okay, I'm convinced this dude is like the Flash. He is literally able to disappear within an instant, and then he just zooms in off screen as if he like ran around the world, like, and back. Hi, thought you died. I thought you were dead. Nope. Finished explaining, I see. Thanks, Rita. Mm -hmm. I've got one more thing to tell you about over now. I thought it would be handy to have a quick way to share what we see and learn in the field. Now then. Are you too familiar with pencils and paper? Len talk? Oh. It rings a bell, I think. Yep. It's a communication tool folks here that lentil use. Rita, let's say you notice something exciting in the field. You can send a photo and description over Len talk. I could use it to send things I notice on the monitor, too. Huh. Could you also use it to, to stream movies to your friends so you guys can we watch Blood Blockade Battlefront together or Digimon Tamers? Because that would be cool. And you guys could come, too, if you want. If you want, watch it over Lentel. If you want. I like... We watch it together. <laughs> Hi, Logan. <laughs> Logan thought it was sad. <laughs> that sounds super fun. <laughs> Look for Len Talk messages in the top right of the screen at the research camp and elsewhere. They ought to help. New request? Huh? Oh god, what? Living up in the flowers. Sometimes Floriga seems to gather natural power from its surroundings. Would you mind getting a photograph of the striking behavior? Question. Are these hints? Or are these, like, quests with rewards? Very different things. Both. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. I gotcha. There are challenges. You do them. You do them. And then... Stuff happen. I wonder what it looks like when Torterra yawns. Aren't you curious to know, too? Have you seen which Pokemon is scorching these fruits? I'd like you to try and catch the culprit in the act if you would abide. If you want. When Meganium gets to this spot, it starts looking around kind of restlessly. Do you think it's looking for one of its friends? No, I think it's realizing that it's gigantic and it's probably freaking out and having an anxiety attack because I definitely would if I suddenly woke up and I was really large and glowing. I'd be like, ah! Hello. Hello. Hello, Mario. I need a bit more time to prepare. In the meantime, why not see what Pokemon you can find at the natural natural po nature park using Fluffroot and Scans? Fluffroot and Scans can help with you set up all kinds of photos. Don't be shy about using them. I gotta. I gotta go daytime. I'm gonna pelt creatures with apples for fun because that's not weird you're weird 
I have fun my way. You have fun your way. Go away. Oh shit, what? Wait, they're like, they're like walking around now. The state, the stages change as you level up. Oh, okay. That's kind of nice. Well, this is already a pretty fucking good sequel. In some ways, I kind of enjoyed the repetitiveness of, like, the original game, just because it made it very arcadey. But seeing the areas change, though, is really cool in its own way, too. Wow. What's your rating of the water? Of... Uh, um, apple. Fruit. Oh, wait, shit. There you gotta do the thing. Oh, I missed it. There no. A crystal bloom that grows on Florio Island. Okay, thanks, Metroid Prime computer. It's just Fatal Frame. Well, it will be when we start seeing Ghastly. Why, why duck scream? Good old them, Bidus. Bro, it's like, it's like we're actually at, like, the, you know, the magical nature kingdom at, at, at Disney World? Uh, I forget what the fuck it's called, but it had a lot of animals in it. Uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lad! Uh, I thought it was supposed to be soft. I thought, wait, I thought she, uh, she said that they were supposed to like it. Chat, I don't think it enjoyed that. That didn't look like it was happy. What the? Fuck you. Bitch. Look at your stupid face. Taking a picture of it. It. Check this out. Duh. How come they're not eating the apples? Eat the apples! Eat them! It's time. Whoa. Okay, Jed, do the thing. Eat, 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 eat fruit. Eat it. Go. That's fucked up. That's some nightmare shit. I don't like it. Wow, they're doing the thing that Monster Hunter does with like the low frame rate in the distance. Lions reacted the same way she didn't like the vine tentacles. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> they're fucking weird. <laughs> I didn't expect it. Cows. Uh, well, maybe this one's better than that one. I don't know. You do you know? That one's probably better. This one, she's eating a sack. Fucking angry. Fucking pissed. They told me they would love it. 
Wow, you get, like, more stars for pissing them off. That's amazing. Let's do this. Ikuzo, Mina. Oh, it's a Boothalant. Looks like it packs some real power. Is it a Bulbous Boothalant? Nice work. Bulbous Boothalant. Ah, I see. What fascinating behavior. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Macadamia. Bulbous Boof Bump. Macadamia. <laughs> I like how at least one person knows what I'm doing. Nice placement score. Your subject's dead center, so it all feels balanced. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's a great bit. What are all the words? They, they, it's bulbous bouffant. Macadamia. What was the other words they used? I know they go, mm-hmm, a lot. Blubber? Gazebo. I remember gazebo. God, man, that's been like, feels like 20 years since I've heard that fucking song. <laughs> Next, we've got Grookey. Isn't it adorable? Nice it must be in a hurry. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. It's running away from all the people trying to get its holographic McDonald's Pokemon card. Because I got one. It wasn't holographic, though. Photographing from different spots might help you get better angles on Pokemon. It has been about 20 years. What, since they did that bit? Yeah. I like Grookey. They're, they're a cool new Pokemon. I like the drummer stick. Get it? Uh, that was a pun. That was a pun, motherfucker. That was a good pun. Better fucking recognize. <laughs> Next is Flores. Florgs? Flarg, Fl Flargan. Flargan? It's a two-star photo. That's new. Nice work. I see it's having a nice meal. Nice work. Keep it up. You even caught the creepy tentacles. Flargan and Dingle. <laughs> Flargan and what? <laughs> Flargan! Where's it gonna land? <laughs> Great job with your sizing. The Pokemon looks nice and big. I really don't like you saying this sort of thing, sir. Could you find another way of maybe expressing joy over that aspect? You're making it weird. Wow, great job with your sizing. <laughs> <laughs> Next is Tucklet. It brings a smile to my face. Nice timing. This is a fairly common behavior. Great timing. This is well taken. It's screaming. It is screaming at the heavens. Cursing this existence to which it was born in unrightfully. It did not desire this existence! He sang, Fuck God! Fuck it! Fuck! Your placement's looking good. Centering your subject balances the photo well. Which would you like to keep? This new photo or the one in your photo decks? I am the one. A new discovery. Next we've got Tangrowth, a new one for your photo decks. Nice work. Looks like it's been bopped by something. Nice work. Keep it up. Yeah, it was that soft fruit. That soft fruit that you gave me? Turns out, hard as rocks.
Remember, getting the whole Pokemon the frame looking nice and big is key to a good size score. Capture that girth. Make sure they're nice and thick. Juicy. Next is Hoot Hoot. There's something uncanny about it. Nice work. It looks like it's fast asleep. Nice work. Keep it up. Try close-ups of Pokemon's faces, too. Ah, uh, uh, okay, well, I like the one where it's uh, awake. Mm. Next is Talo. It's a two-star photo. That's new. Nice work. Looks like it's been bopped by something. Nice work. Keep it up. Having other Pokemon in the photo is a nice touch. Ugh. Hi, are you going to say anything? He's, why are you looking at me like that? Your photos get better and better. I'll make sure our research keeps up with your progress. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Alright. Bye. Uh, couldn't they, like, uh, have given me, I don't know, what, like, maybe a banana or something? Or maybe, maybe like a really old avocado? <laughs> Seriously. Why apples? That's like not the not what I think of when I think soft fruit. There's that Pikachu again. Pants it away. Hi. Heading out to take some photos. I look forward to seeing what kind of shots you get. Oh, great. Uh, let's do nighttime again. After each expedition, you can say photos to the album. Okay. They're not apples, they're fluff fruit. Okay. I'll... Coconuts? That's what Ryu says in Smash when he throws that one move out. He goes, Coconuts! Ooh. Hmm. What else can I harass? You! Duh. Oh, there he goes. Hmm. I see you, bitch. Hey. Woo! Nani! He's fast! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh shit, whoa, whoa. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it, idiot? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Secret? Yo, what's that? This, that's, this Diglett. That's, that's where Diglett lives. I know, he invites me over all the time. What? What? Ah, oh, damn it. That wasn't Diglett at all. Hello, Torterra. Piss off the straw bird. Die. That's. I hit one bird with the one one apple. Knocked him out. That was just mutant Diglett. Oh, okay. So it had like what characterization characterization on its forehead to look like horns. Do you want the banana? These bananas for you. They better be. Hmm. 
feel it down and go mm -mm 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 -mm. richer. Oh, that's a big guru. Whoa. <laughs> Just barely got its face. Whoa, banana. Oh. Hey, Nani. Oh, wait, where, where, where is it? I'm scanning. I'm scanning. Oop. Crystal Bloom. Got it. I got it. I know. It's time. I'm not ready yet. It's not time. I'm not ready yet. I need to. I need to. No! Gotcha! No! I wanted to get a picture of him waking up. Oh, you're back. You look hungry to take more photos. Yeah, dude, you fucking interrupted me. I was, I have an artistic process. And you fucking interrupted it. You never, ever get in the way of art! This is a two-star photo. That is a two-star photo. It, it's literally perfect. Sleepy buggy. Sleepy buggy ZB Dordera. What? What? Come Okay. Now that. Now let's see what we've got. Oh, it's Score Bunny. It brings a smile to my face. Nice work. Nice work. Keep it up. Photographing from different spots might help you get better angles on Pokemon. Which would you like to keep? This new photo or the one in your photo decks? Ah, uh, the new photo's better. It's got bigger numbers, right? Yeah. Next is Bufalant. Seems brave and bold, doesn't it? Nice work. It looks like it's fast asleep. Nice work. Keep it up. Okay. Well, looks like uh, we're keeping the old one. Next, we've got Tangrowth. It's a tad unusual. Perfect timing. I see it's having a nice meal. Fantastic! You captured exactly the right moment. Pokemon you photograph came out nice and big. Well done! Which would you like to keep? This new photo or the one your photo decks? <gasps> a new discovery! Next we've got Pinsir! Uh, definitely a pincer, absolutely. It's fucking, this is like Bigfoot fit footage, footage, foot, foot, footage, spinach. This big, this big foot spinach. Footage. Nah, maybe, maybe uh, fettuccine. This is Bigfoot fettuccine. Next, we've got pincer, a new one for your Pokedex. Great timing. Ah, I see. What fascinating behavior. Good work. This is no easy shot to get. When you're framing your shot, be careful how you position the Pokemon's face and body.
Next, we've got Pidgeot. It just exudes cool, doesn't nice it? Work. That seems like it's on its way somewhere. Nice work. Keep it out, buddy. Try getting close-ups of Pokemon's faces, too. Especially when they're angry. Next is Murkrow. Looks like a heavy hitter. Nice work. Nice work. Keep it up. Ah. Oh. Nice placement score. Your subject's dead center, so it all feels balanced. Next, we've got Grookey. What a cute Pokemon. Nice work. Looks like it's fast asleep. Keep it up. Nice work. Good job. You're great. You're just great. Great job with your sizing. The Pokemon looks nice and big. Which would you like to keep? This new photo or the one in your photo decks? I don't know one. Next, we've got Pikachu. Calming, isn't it? Nice work. It looks like it's fast asleep. Nice work. Keep it up. Boom. By 20 points. Better. Larger. Uh, there she go. Okay, sleep into a Terra. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Ba -ba 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 yes! I am a photographer, a photo master. Throwing fluff fruit or running scans might get Pokemon to face you. Oh, yes, you do. Next is Combi. It brings a smile to my face. I see it's in flight. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Phantom Menace is better. Which would you like to keep? This new photo or the one in your photo decks? Really? This is the better photo. Okay. I watch you while you're sleeping. All right. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon are <laughs> getting comfortable with you. <laughs> she just keeps staring at me. It makes me uncomfortable. He's so creepy. I don't trust him. He's like, he's, he's like, he's like a Pokemon trying to be a human. Like that one dude. That one dude who was that Pokemon, but he was actually a human, but he was actually a Pokemon, he's not a human. Todd. He was a fox. What? Wow. What the fuck is that? Now then. Jerma? This is Todd. Wait. Oh. Todd from Skyrim? He's a professional Pokemon photographer. His work takes him all over the world. Nice LED camera, bro. Hi. Are you the one who caught an Illumina Pokemon on camera? Way to go, that's a big deal. So? Todd, did you bring what I asked you to? Mm -hmm. I sure did. Thank you. Wait, his voice is so different now. You're a lifesaver. Now we'll finally be able to set out. Huh? What the, he got beamed up to the Enterprise! He's also 20 years older, oh. Oh yeah. Yes! Yeah, that was his, that's his classic line. That's Todd's classic line. He goes, yes! Is this guy a friend of yours, Professor? Mm -hmm. An old travel companion, to be precise. He was a baby, but they got bigger. Yeah. He's been helping me plan our big survey of lentil, too. Huh. No kidding. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! 
Oh, is that the new pod you put together? Remain reminds me of the good old days. Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, wait a minute. If he's 30, then how come Ash is still 10? Wait, what? Huh? Ash isn't real here. What do you mean, Ash isn't real? What? What do you mean? The baby in the Mandalorian isn't named Glupshito. What do you mean? But hey, let me see those Illumina Pokemon photos. Wow, you've really got an eye for this. Oh no. Hey! Huh? Back off, kid. Get your own mentor. <sighs> Gone? I <laughs> like how everyone in chat's like, gone? <laughs> yeah, I see it too. <laughs> oh shit, it's gone. <laughs> so you're the new teammate, huh? I'm Phil, Todd's number one student. Okay, now. Easy there, Phil. Well, yeah, that's a shiny god. That's this is that's that's um that's gone fused with Kilwa. <laughs> it it kind of looks like a weird fusion of both of them, kinda. Phil like film. Yeah, that's definitely gone. That is absolutely gone's like entire everything. They even have the green. They have the greed. I'm tempted to take part in this big ecological survey myself, but I have another idea. How about I send Phil with you instead? Yep. D d d these people gotta explain the disappearing act. This is not gonna sit well with me. <gasps> what are you going out of here? Are you real? Am I, re am I real? I'm fine with that if you are, Todd. Yes! Awesome! However, you can be my stand-in for now. But don't forget, I'll need that badge back eventually. Uh, they keep using Ned to teleport desert. Oh, that you know what? Now that we now that Gon's here, that makes sense. That all makes sense now. Aw, uh, fine. But if I take a super cool photo, I get to keep the badge. And uh so, yeah, what's an ecological survey? I don't like how everyone is staring at me. <laughs> okay. I don't like making eye contact with you people. Now that you're all here, we can get started. Listen up, team. I'm going to give you a breakdown of the survey. All right, so this is Northern Crater. Now here is Midgar. Now then. This is Florio Island, our home sweet home. The circled spot right here is our camp. Also. But this survey will take us past these shores. Mm. And this will be our first destination. Hey, so... Why are we starting there? I've detected a spot there with high energy readings. The Neo-1 should be able to teleport to it. Oh yeah, I forgot they have teleportation technology in Pokemon for some reason, even though the first game was kind of set in the 90s. Did anyone else find that fucking weird? They have literal teleporters in these games. This island showed up in the travelogue, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so weird, dude. The game series with fucking psychic animals, 9000 IQ, it's weird. I know, the first game had it. Yeah, it's just an Abra in a metal box. <laughs> in Gen 1, Pokemon, the, the, the teleporters were just Abras, like, kept in a little box. You'd walk on top of them and, it, like, I don't know, kick them in the ass or something, and then they get pissed off and teleport you away. The poor things. Thank God we've come so far since then. 
Uh. It certainly did. Captain Vince wrote what he saw a glowing Pokemon there too, in fact. Come on. They were kept on a hamster wheel? That must have been some very stationary hamster wheel. Come on already. Let's get this survey thing started. Agreed. Fair enough. Anyway. Enjoy your first this century adventure into the wilds of Lentil. Wait, what was I doing until now? Well, what? Okay. Alright. Hey. Here I go. That's it. That's the dark cotton. That, that 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 over there. That's that's where um that's where uh the uh, uh, uh killer's sibling. That's where that's where they came from, right? Oh wait, no, that's a spoiler. Everyone, sorry. Forget I said anything. Found your jungle. You're welcome. Uh. Oh, thank God. I thought he was going to be like shoved into the vehicle with us and it was going to be stupid. Enjoy your first time on Bella Silva Island. It really is a jungle out there. Shut up. Keep your eyes peeled and your camera ready for Pokemon. Good luck. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. I'm level two and on the beach. That first level? I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, this is right. Huh? What the? Yo! Da! Don't like you. Don't like you. Ah, don't look at me with them big ol' eyes. Look at me with those big old eyes. Yo, wait, there was a slacking? What? Hey? Nani? You missed him. I was slacking. What? Get out of the way! Yo, Arbok. Yo, wait, you know what Arbok is spelled backwards? It's come. Literally everyone in the chat made the same joke. That That's brilliant. I'm glad we're all the same wavelength. We are all equally stupid. Monkey! Fucking... <gasps> Yo, the boy! Yo, the boy! Thick ass boy! Damn, boy! Oh. Oh. That's it, you missed the gorilla. That damn monkey business effect. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. I missed it. Whoa. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Man, you always get the best shots. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not stupid like you, dummy. Check that out. Final Seeker Ruins. I'm like an explorer. What, why, what is this kid even doing here? F fucking stupid. Yo, is that gone from Hunt to Hunter? Yeah, dude, that's that's gone. This is the arc where they went to the island to, you know, that the, the island that was a video game. But um, instead of a card game, they played Pokemon Snap. <laughs> Green Island, yeah.
It was Pokemon Snap for real. Whoa. Yo, what is that? That's a crystal bloom. Get that. Get that shit. Are they related to Orlando Bloom? Maybe. Maybe. Yo, what, what, what? Who's that? Who's that over there? Hey, Nani. Oh. There's something over there. Ooh. 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 Pick, pick, picky pack. <gasps> there he is. I love him. Wasn't that the plot of the first Yu-Gi-Oh! anime? Go to an island to play card games. Yup. Welcome to Togashi's Wacky Wild World. Today we're making our Yu-Gi-Oh! fucking story. <laughs> Fanfic. The, next we're gonna talk about giant bugs. Hello. And then, politics. Every arc of Hunter x Hunter is so wildly fucking different. I love it. <laughs> Shonen tournament anime? No, now it's about mafia. <laughs> it's just a new show every arc, yes. Yeah. It really is, though. I kind of, that's kind of why I like it. It's refreshing, honestly. Like, you, like you, I don't know, you you know the characters, but you get to see them in all these wildly, weirdly, completely different situations all the time. It it actually oddly makes it very. It kind of helps with its depth. Now they're like fighting aliens, yeah. How was your first crack of this course? Tell me all about the Pokemon you saw. I saw a Quagsire. He's, he's, he's cool. Whoa. Do you remember when Yugi was like a fucking sadist? And, like, actually, like, tried to kill people that, that like, fucked with him. And uh, one time he put, like, he put, like, a bomb in an ice block on this, like, table for, like, air hockey. <laughs> it's like, the loser dies. <laughs> Have fun, idiot. Yeah, though, the original Yu-Gi-Oh! like, manga was really fucked up. <laughs> it was really fucked up! That's Yu-Gi-Oh! Zero. Yo, that's three stars. That's a basic. I don't think they ever made an anime of it, because it's definitely not what you would... It's definitely not kid-friendly at all! <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Oh. There is- wait, some- they did make one? So wait, of him like being like a- uh, like a total sadist and like just murking people left and right? They did. It's an undubbed anime. Oh, I have to watch that. Is that why- Oh my god. I thought those edits of Kaiba with the green hair were like photoshops. From like, what if this was an anime? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I need to watch it. No, that's season zero. Wait, I mean, but... No, that's legit. Yeah, no, green hair Kaiba's real. Wait, but did he have green hair in the in that this. arc too? Was he even in that arc? Am I confusing two different things? 
Am I conflating them? <laughs> Screw the rules, I have green hair. Yeah, though, the manga's good. I didn't know they animated it. I need to see that. A new discovery. He was in the manga. Oh, good. Okay. It's been a while since I remember this thing. <laughs> Season zero, Kaiba exists and has green hair. Yes. Oh, it's a bound suite. A new addition to our research. Nice work. Okay. Yeah. Mokupa was a little shit. I love that gremlin. Why is he so angry, though? That boy always looking like he smells some piss. Like, he's looking fucking angry all the time. Oh, wait, not Mokuba. I'm sorry. Wrong character. Mokuba is the, is the, is the little brother of Kaiba. I'm thinking Bakora. Sorry, I fucking confused. Wow. <laughs> Mokuba was just that whiny kid. And then there was, uh, uh, fucking. Merrick Ishtar. From that movie? Ishtar? Four, two, three. Next we got a pop, a new one for your photo decks. These meta pods. Pokemon looks nice and big. Dude, it's not even taller than a plate of grass. A new discovery. Next we've got Quagsire. This is the first time you've gotten it as your subject. Nice work. Looks like it's been bought by something. Nice work. Keep it up. Yeah, I wonder what that could have been. Something. Haha. <laughs> Definitely not those hard as rock apples you gave me that you said were soft but totally aren't. Soft things don't often hit things and go conk and then bounce off of them and then cause whatever they hit to be disoriented. Photographing from different spots might help you get better angles on Pokemon. Have you ever met a pot head? Yeah. New discovery. Several. <laughs> Next, we have got Pick a Pack, a new addition to our research. Great timing. I see you snapped this just as it was pecking at a tree. Good work. This is no easy shot to get. I don't believe you. I don't believe you at all. I don't believe that for a fucking second that's not an easy shot to get because it's literally called peck a peck it's a woodpecker, and what do they do? They peck trees. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Remember, getting the whole Pokemon on the frame, looking nice and big, is key to a good size score. Yeah, that's definitely all of that right there. Yeah. It did all of it. It's nice and big and large. Chunky. Next, we've got Lipard, a new addition to our research. Nice work. Looks like it's been buffed by something. Yeah, it's in the photo, stupid. Nice work. Keep it up, whatever. You, you, you even can see. This is, that is, you can even see the shockwave. That throwing that small object against that creature produced. Sir, use your eyes and look and see. You have given me a weapon. Throwing fluff fruit or running scans might get Pokemon to face you. I, why, you should not call them fluff fruit, you should call them rocks. Wow, it's some big fucking hall. Who cares? These are some ancient ruins on Belusville Island. Excellent find. Aren't these incredible? 
I get the feeling we're drawing closer to the center of an ancient mystery. Bro, that, that thing hit that Lyperd so hard, it like displaced the air molecules around it. It produced a visible wave of kinetics. And you're still calling them fluff fruit. Imagine, like, while he's staring at you like that. I know your darkest secrets. <laughs> I never have guessed it was your first trip out there. Keep up your good, keep up the good work. <laughs> you received the research title, led to the research team. I remember. Just. Remember, remember the the September. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. By the way, if you like, I can start uploading standout photos for you. They deserve to be seen widely. Photos I upload will be added to your collection online. On your page, they'd be marked as my favorites. By the way. You change whether you'd like me to do this by going to settings and turning auto upload photos on or off. Okay. September. Bobby. There's a section playing guitar. Yeah. <laughs> that is probably the funniest thing Dunky has ever goddamn made. I don't fucking care what else he's made. That is the best. You can't top it. Scrambled eggs, yeah! <laughs> Look at this. You might discover something new here. Hey. Hey, get down from there! Huh? Yeah, you better listen to me. Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. Fucking fool. You better go, you better run. <gasps> Yo, Pijato. <laughs> Yo, ducks. Carl. And baby Carl's. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the Pokemon are loving it, dude. That is definitely the sound of a Pokemon having a great ass time and so happy I threw a fruit at it. <laughs> it got like stunned! Oh, I got scared! Eh? Nandi kore wa? Oh, yeah, Pinsir. Hey! Hey, hey, get out of there. Hey, hey, wake up! Wake up! Pincer! Oh, you gotta use the scatter, right? Oh! Oh! Duh. I hear the splitsy splashes of the splushy of feet. What is this? Oh, it's Bidoof. Never mind. Yo, bioluminescent creatures! Let's throw- let's throw fucking rocks at it! <gasps> Magic heart? Wait a minute. Is this- Yo, straight up, is this a reference to the original game? Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. No, 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 no. Oh damn it! 
Yes, they did in the first one, too. Yeah, but wasn't there, like, a thing, like, if you did it enough times in a very specific spot, something really cool would happen? I, I just was hoping it would happen. It was a whirlpool. Yeah, it was the whirlpool. Yeah, maybe there's, like, new conditions. Yeah, you gotta knock it in the waterfall. <gasps> Dummy. It's just stopping around now. Whoa. That's what you forgot. Forgot what? Nice JPEG. Was that made in MS Paint? Hey. I already did this one. Ah, uh, did you even take a picture of Sylveon? No. What? All right. Pepe Sylveon. What program were you made in, Desert? How was it? Ah, uh, I think it was uh, Java. How'd your research go? I can't wait to see if you found anything new. Is this the professor for this game, the photographer for the previous Pokemon Snap? No, but that character is in the game. That is Todd. You are thinking Todd. This is Professor Beer. He, he, he's, he has glasses. Ooh, 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 triple top. That there was a three-star photo of Score Buddy. All right. Yeah, I missed that. My bad. Do these even fucking matter? Okay. We got some great shots. Time to check these photos. Oh, it's Score Bunny. It's a three star photo. That's new. Great timing. When you see a flaming kick like that, you know it's Score Bunny. Great timing. This is well taken. <laughs> Photographing from different spots might help you get better angles on Pokemon. <laughs> Oh, it's it's score bunny. <laughs> Next is Cumby. What a cute Pokemon! I see it's in flight. Nice going. This isn't bad. This isn't a bad shot at all. The direction could be better. Watch for when it looks right at the camera. Six 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 direction. Uh. Next, we've got a Boofalot. Looks like it packs some real power. Nice work. But that—that's a picture of. A, uh, uh, you know what? Fuck it. Never mind. Nice system. <laughs> I don't know why, but like, this new photo of like, it screaming, and the poor like, ducklet like, looking like, uh, 
<laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Next is Swana. What a cute Pokemon. Talk about both close and personal. <laughs> it looks like scared. The more Pokemon you get in a photo, the more insight it gives us in this area's ecosystem. His mom is like dying. She got like stabbed. <laughs> Next, we've got Ducklet. It's a two-star photo. That's nice new. It seems to be swimming. Nice work. Keep it up. Wait a minute. What if that Ducklet is that same Swata, but they evolved, and they are still cursing at God, going, Fuck! That's the, that's the lore. It's a, it's a series. It's a sequence of events. Next is Caterpie. That's one odd Pokemon. You're an odd dude. What the fuck is your problem? Mr. Nice and Big Photos of Pokemon? What 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 about... I wonder. Nice work. Keep it up. What about what? You don't like it because it's not nice and big and it's tidy. Just say it, dude. Just say it. Just say it. The direction could be better. Watch for when it looks right at the camera. He's biased. He's fucking biased as fuck. Next is Pinsir. It's very promising. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. Looks like it's been bopped by something. <laughs> nice work. This isn't a bad shot at all. <laughs> Imposing, not promising. <laughs> My brain is broken. Your placement is looking good. Centering your subject balances the photo well. I like a big and juicy. Chunky asses. Next is Magikarp. It's a tad unusual. What? Nice work. It's just door to flap. Ah, I see. What fascinating behavior. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. It's a it's doing splash, bro. This isn't like groundbreaking. Try getting close-ups of Pokemon's faces, too. How unusual! A Magikarp splashing! What?! Mm. Next is Dodrio. It's a two-star Pokemon. That's new! Looks like it's been bopped by something. Next time, try watching its movements carefully to find your moment. I'll bop you! Bob head. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon on the frame looking nice and big is the key to a good size score. Next, we've got Torterra. It seems full of vigor. It it's fucking sleeping, dude. Nice work. It looks like it's fast asleep. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Getting your subject smack dab in the middle of the frame will improve your placement score. It's a Florio Island Crystal Bloom. These odd flowers are closely linked to the Illumina phenomenon. I'm still not sure what conditions are required for it to glow on its own in nature. Which would you like to keep? This new photo or the one in your photo decks? I mean, literally, the this one's way the fuck better. It's got the, you know, the golden thing. <laughs> your photos get better and better. I'll make sure our research keeps up with your progress. 
You discovered a route that leads over Bidoof's Dam in Florio Nature Park. You received the title Dam Completed. Um, are you allowed to say that in a Nintendo game? Damn, not here! Except it was there. Well, it, now it is. And, and now we're gonna go across it with our big ol' ship. Look, it's it's Ted. From from the first game. The Squeakquel. Wait, no, this is the Squeakquel. The Neo One uses the same technology as the pot I once used for my research. Thanks. Thanks, Timmy. I tabbed out, did he actually curse? Yeah, he said, um, uh, fuck, shit, damn, cock, ball, bitch, ass, motherfucker, poop, poopy cum, <laughs> butt face, poop ass, bitch. <laughs> Fucking bitch at you. A game for all ages. It's great. It's great. Wanna go back? We can see more if you want. Doesn't wash your mouth with soap. I do every day. Maybe that's why I'm so dumb. Did you know? Detergents break down the cell barriers of, of uh, animal cells. That's why you don't uh, Look at this. ingest it. Yo, Evie? Where, what the fuck? Where, 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 where is the... Evie, get off. You're, you're, you're provoking Gojira. Evie did this. Evie did this to them. Whoa. Do you like your lipids? No? Well then... Uh... Oh, well, that sucks. Putting soap near any of your bodily cells is not a good idea. That's why we have skin. Because it's keratin. And it's not... It can't get through it that easy. What happens if you leave lead Evie to the flower? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, uh... Get it fucking over there, you stupid... Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, 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 what are you doing? What? Stupid dog! You made me look bad! Nope. Nothing. Desert. What? <gasps> Where? Where? Where was it? Eh? Oh, it's just pointing to Meganium. I mean, yes. Yes, that is a Meganium. I'm looking for the thing that it said it was looking for. It's time. No, it's not time yet. I haven't found the thing. Does you should be taking shitloads of photos of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, work it. Oh, oh, honey, work it. Oh, work it, honey, work it, work it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yes. Remnants of ruins found over the lentil. Huh? Yo, combi! Oh. I guess maybe that was the thing?
Lentil ruins. What, like salads? It's time. I guess if you don't like them. Getting the hang of this course, aren't you? Why don't you pick some photos to show me? Bro, I just spabbed the A bud. I got. Found a weird ass dog. Jumping on a dinosaur. <laughs> All of these are terrible. Except the ones where they're actually looking. Away. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm. I like that. Sassy. Sassy. Oh, it's Evie, a new addition to our research. Perfect timing. Looks happy, doesn't it? Perfect timing. You did wonderfully. Having other Pokemon in the photo is a nice touch. Wow, three stars. Next, we've got Meganium. Its dignity certainly comes across. Great timing. Ah, I see. What fascinating behavior. Good work. This is no easy shot to get. Bro, it's just looking at me. Great job with your sizing. The Pokemon looks nice and big. Oh my god, is it dirty serious right now? Next is Combi. Calming, isn't nice it? Work. It seems calm. Nice work, keep it up. Whatever. I don't care. You care? Later. Photographing from different spots might help you get better angles on Pokemon. Boys, would you to like to keep this new photo or the one in your photo decks? If we keep this up, we'll learn all kinds of new things. Yeah. You did that right as I sat back down. That was planned. That you you're on candy camera. <laughs> it's the new reality TV show. Uh, okay, so wait, so I needed to get, I needed to get a one star, I guess, of them. I already had a two star. Yep. But I guess I'll just also go to this level, level it up. You just got pranked. That's right, you did. I don't need luck. Yo, hey, Pop, get back here. Lentil floss. Rental floss. Dental floss. Yo, ain't that that dude who's singing that song about um, Yoshi's eating baby Mario? <gasps> a bug Pokemon web. The silk looks very tough. This sucking. Yo, hey. Ah, he keeps slacking off. You brought me a baby. How generous of you. Something, something, something. He'll make a tasty stew. Just 
Just put him in the freezer. I think he'll keep for weeks. But his diaper fucking stinks. I forget the lyrics to that song. <laughs> but I can't eat a bite. I've got the Yoshi flu. <laughs> By the way, what happened to your bowl? Is he still making music? Is he still around? I haven't heard about him in a while. Quagsire is fucking massive, bro. Ooh. Wow. That's Pika Pix food storage. We, we know where it is now, and now we're gonna take it. Oh, he was at TMG? That's awesome. That's good. Oh, really? He's still making stuff. Recently did a video analyzing Nightmare Before Christmas and how music is good, but the lyrics are bad. Then, you know, honestly, my entire life I've kind of felt that way, so he's not really wrong. <laughs> I was always afraid to say it. Thank God someone else did. Like the only lyric I can even remember sometimes is like, I'm the Oogie Boogie Man. That's it. That might be the actually only good song I think of it whenever I think of that movie, Oogie Boogie Man. He can't eat the apple. Look at him go. Magic Harp? No. Markiplier. There are some good songs in there, but I like I don't think every single one is good. You really liked Prince of Egypt as a musical. Wait, Prince of Egypt was a musical? I don't remember that at all. The DreamWorks one? What the fuck? I don't remember a single song in it. I... I sh Great job. Oh my god, maybe I need to watch that music. If, wow, I remember really liking that movie as a kid, and I don't remember any songs. Oh. Weird, dude. I do remember the cane turning into a snake. Ah, that was badass and cool. Who's your favorite character in Blood Blockade Battlefront? Claws. Easily. Oh, you're back. You look hungry to take more photos. No, I'm just hungry. I haven't eaten in days. Please, God, give me some food. I've been here for like a week now, and you haven't offered me anything to eat, and I've had that. Oh, I did. You, you gave me apples, but they are edible. They're hard as rocks. Survival of the Midst. Take the pictures. That's your job. Now then. Now, let's see what we've got. Mm. Oh, it's Bound Suite. It's a one star photo. That's new. Nice work. It seems calm. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Your placement's looking good. Centering your subject balances the photo well. Oh. A new 
discovery. Next, we've got slacking, a new one for your photo decks. Nice work. It seems calm. Nice work. Keep it up. Buttercup. Try getting close-ups of Pokemon's faces, too. Uh, are you serious right now, dude? You want me to piss off a slacking enough for it to get the fuck up? You better be, you better be paying me some, 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 some stanky buddies. Cause fuck that shit. Nope, nope, nope. He loves how big slacking is. <laughs> he wants you to risk your life <laughs> to take a picture of one of the biggest Pokemon around. <laughs> When this dude sees the twist of that one De Detective Pikachu movie, remember, remember the twist with the the, the, the quote unquote big twists. This this dude, he goes he goes wild. <laughs> <laughs> you remember you remember them them big twists. Mega Bentley. Next is Beautifly. It's a three-star photo. That's new. Great timing. This looks like to behave. Great timing. This is taken well. Your placement's looking good. Centering your subject balances the photo well. You haven't seen it yet? It's actually really good. I, I saw it in theaters with uh, Natch Cat and Zito, and I loved it. Honestly, I thought I would hate it. Because when it comes to video game movies, I'm super fucking critical of them. It is actually really, really, really faithful to not only, like, the actual, like, in-game lore, but the mannerisms, um, the, like, the, the way Pokemon are used in the game as, like, part of daily life. They even included really, really niche, obscure things. Like, the far-fetched thing. I thought that was... That's when I knew they they were really paying attention to shit. And, like, making sure, like, yeah, this is a movie for fans, probably by fans of the series. Yeah, Mr. Mime in that movie's fucking amazing. Pikachu said hell! What's the far-fetched thing? So you know that scene that looks like Blade Runner? The one where they're, like, in the, the market alley? And there's like tons of like shops and like like really like run down looking businesses on the streets. One of them is selling food. A specific kind of meat in a bowl. With uh some uh some leeks alongside of it. Which is actually canon. Yes, people eat far fetched. In fact, they eat them so much. That's why there was only one in the game for the original game. They were rare as fuck. They were overhunted. Yeah, that's that's actually canon. That's that's real shit. I guess eventually, though, they must have done something with their populations because they're in Galar now. <laughs> At least in the Kanto region. A duck comes along carrying a leak. And everybody be like, I'm gonna eat that. Thing. Galarian Farfetch was done with everyone's shit. But no, yeah, little details like that. What do you mean there's only one? Oh, wait, well, you, you could only get it from trading one person from with one NPC, I thought, right? No, not only one in Kanto originally. Yeah, I meant like in the game, you only encountered it one time, which meant it was super rare. Which means it's a very, very hard to come by Pokemon, probably. They eat Magikarp in the Pokemon universe, too. Actually, I've heard they don't because they're nothing but bone. Those do there's dodo birds in the game. Yeah, I know. I invented them. So explain Jinx.
No. <laughs> your placement's looking good. Centering your subject balances the photo well. <laughs> Next, we've got Leipard. It's a one-star photo. That's new. Nice work. I cannot explain Jinx. I don't want to explain Jinx. I don't like remembering Jinx exists. Nice work. Mm. Next, we've got iPom. It's a one star photo. That's new. Nice work. Can you eat Jinx? I, I mean,. You could eat rocks if you want. Jerma did. I mean, I put rocks in my mouth when I was a kid. So yeah, probably. Maybe. If you want. Probably won't <laughs> be a good idea, though. Eat an onyx. You would know someone in the Pokemon universe has done, like, a stupid challenge like that, right? Like, you know that guy who ate a plane? There's definitely a dude who ate, like, a Steelix. <laughs> Or at least, like, a Steelix shedding or something. They shed, right? Steelix is shed, don't they? I'm pretty sure they do. Unless... I, my brain made that up. Yeah, they make steel plates. Yeah, that's what I thought those were. Kind of like Kushala Deora. Right, exactly. Like, a, like, they just crack and there's, like, a... There's, like, a, a, a new one inside. It comes out, and it's like, Sup. I'm Steelix. I made him sound better. Do you want to play Pokemon cards? Nice placement score. Your subject's dead center, so it all feels balanced. They're a good source of iron, so it's probably common. I wouldn't be surprised if people did make use of their sheddings to, like, actually do stuff like that. I mean, they do. They do literally in the games. Next, we've got Quagsire. It's a one-star photo. That's nice new. Work. Ah, I see. What fascinating behavior. It's shitting. It's sitting. Nice work. Keep it up. Meow, Drake will take milk straight out of an udder. What a fucking legend. <laughs> it's shitting and farting. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon the frame looking nice and big is key to a good size score. <laughs> Next, we've got Peaky Peck. It's a two-star photo. That's new. I see it's in flight. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Which Pokemon would you like to eat the most? Serious answer? Uh... Hmm... I, I would have to think about that. Like, if like it is a part of that world. They do eat Pokemon. That is a thing. It's not like outlawed or anything. It's just a fact of their life. Um... Is Wishy Washy based on a tuna? Because then probably that. No, wait, no. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. No. No? It's not? It's a sardine. Wait. Ah, fuck. There is no tuna... There is no tuna Pokemon. What the fuck? Oh, well, kind... Mm. Basculin's more of a bass. In fact, it's in the name. Tuna are way too fucking huge to be wishy-washy. Well, wishy-washy, like, makes the, like, Megazord of all the other wishy-washies. Yeah, chat, there is no tuna Pokemon. Holy shit. What? Sea King? No, that's, that's an Aranda Goldfish. Sea King is an Aranda Goldfish. It's not even close to a tuna. 
There literally is not a tuna Pokemon. Holy shit. Feebas? It... Uh, I want you to say the word Feebas out loud to yourself. Kyogre. Yeah, the ba baby. <laughs> Phoebus, Phoebus fish, please. Free bass. There's a red spy in the base. There's no griffin Pokemon either. Yeah, but see that? I can see that being a thing, because it's like they're not trying not to, like, have generic looking fantasy creatures that everyone expects. Most of Pokemon are based off real-world animals or things in actually the real world. I would... Yeah, well, yeah, I... I no dolphin Pokemon? I, I would say Kyogre is definitely a whale dolphin. So, I mean, technically, there is a... The, technically, that is your dolphin Pokemon. Because they're, they're an orca, right? Orcas are dolphins. Quillfish is Fugu. Well, yes, Kyogre is also Leviathan, yes, but, like, you know, they are a oh, Chat. Hey, look at it. It's like a whale. And then you also have Whale Lord. Yeah, it's like an orca. Orcas are dolphins. They're just really, really big dolphins. They have the same, like, brain power and everything. Well, well, shit. And then there's Whalmer. Um, yeah, there is no tuna. This is blowing my mind. I swear to God, I thought there was going to be one, and there isn't. You would think that there would be. You really would think that there would be, huh? Finion? There are hummingbirds, I thought. Finion. Uh, maybe. Hmm. Finion actually might be a tuna. Finion is not it. What is Finion based on? No, no, wait, you know what? Finion's an angelfish, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Finion does not look like a tuna. I, I, I almost gave it the benefit of the doubt, but no. Love Disc? No, that's based off a real po- That's a sunfish. <laughs> that's a fucking... <laughs> the most useless organism on the planet. <laughs> it's a baby wheel, Jay! <laughs> Flat fuck. Sushi. That's what my wife told me. What about Remoraid? Uh, Remoras. Those are Remoras. Those little funny fellas that, that hang off on sharks. Next is Magikarp. It's a three-star photo. That's new. Timing. I see it's having a nice meal. Great timing. This is well taken. It's eating an apple. Yes. It's nice when the subject faces the camera. You can tell a lot from a Pokemon's expression. Alobobobola. Alobobola? No, that's also a sunfish. Same goddamn thing. They're both sunfish. I hate how Rum Raid turns into Octillery. That's de, de evolution. Well, the theme was that. Remoraid is a gun that evolves into a tank. Yeah, Octillery was originally supposed to look more like a tank. I, I they, they, they toned it down because weapons in, in a kid's game, but... There's also no salmon. Oh, man. Wow. What? Wait, what? 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 Mm -mm -mm. Mm. 
Yeah? You're fucking right. What the f- Those are two very common fish that I would think, like, definitely... Definitely would be a thing by now. No swordfish either? Yeah, they have coelacans, though. You would think that they would do swordfish for, like, sword and shield. Oh, this one's better. No kangaroo and koala. I have bad news for you. Kamala and Kangaskhan. Uh. Yeah, Kamala's from uh, Gen 7. Kangaskhan's from Gen 1. Kangaskhan doesn't count. Yes, it does. <laughs> I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Oh, okay. Kangaskhan is just a generic marsupial. Is that why kangaroo and kangas... Kang... Kang... Ka, kangaroo... Kang, Kangaskhan? There isn't a blobfish Pokemon. Give them time. Kanga. Looks like you're finding your feet on the new island. Now. Kangaskhan doesn't bounce like a kangaroo, though. I mean, almost... There, there are plenty of Pokemon that are analogs of just real-world stuff that act completely differently in some ways. Sometimes there... There's no lizard in real life that has a leaf growing out of its head. <laughs> There's no chameleon that, like, cries. However, they do cry on the inside. It's about time I gave you your neck... <laughs> tail. What? What? The satanic leaf tail gecko, though. Yeah, that's what I was about to think about. I was like... It could be a leaf tail reference, but... The issue is Okay, let's 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 bring up like okay, Trico is obviously a gecko. Um Grovile though. Grovile to me looks more like a microraptor. Like straight up. I'm pretty sure Grovile is a microraptor. Like, I, I can't see this any other fucking way. And then... Septile. Yeah, I, I, I know we do have Arkin. I know, I know. I'm just saying, it, it really does look like one. And then, and then there's... Well, this is Mega Septile, but... <laughs> Oh, almost the exact same design, no, really. Just, you know, more badass and cure. I guess this could be a leaf tail gecko? Yeah, alright, I'll give that to you. Let me try and find a good picture of a leaf tail gecko. These dudes are cool, by the way. They're super cute. They look like... like little demons. Oh, I can't find a good picture. Oh wait, no, I found one. Yif. Wow, that's giant fucking gigantic. Okay, uh... Fit to... Oh god. Oh god, oh jeez. Uh, no. No. But grab the stuff and... Look. That's the important part, right there. 
HD as fuck. Yeah. I, I can see that. I could see that, yeah. That, that, or spiny tail anything, really. That's like 7 billion pixels, by the way. Jesus Christ. If you had to eat a Pokemon to survive, what Pokemon would you eat? That's why I was looking up Tuna Pokemon, honestly. We, uh, the answer to that question. Um, but then we got off on a tangent. I'm sorry, but you're too delicious to live. <laughs> that's, that's not nutritious. You didn't say anything about nutrition. You bet Boltres would be delicious. Why would Mozart be delicious? Stop talking about me like that. Oh, what is it? What is it? I'd like you to visit the jungle during the night and photograph a crystal bloom growing in the dark. Huh? What's a crystal bloom? Oh, um. It's a type of flower that can give off light. Do you remember seeing any odd flowers out there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. Red ones. Mm -hmm. That's probably the type we're after. But now, like, can breed and have children. Think about that. Infinite ice cream. Infinite ice cream. That is what I think immediately. The fuck is this? Someone made, like... <laughs> like a fake evolution tree? Cow yow. Oh, that's actually really cool. It's like General Guy in the fucking Paper Mario. I I don't understand the war theme, but that that is that's genuinely interesting. <laughs> Why does it become a tank? Why does artillery become a tank? You guys ever just like close your eyes and see, you know, them? I do all the time. <laughs> they haunt my dreams. <laughs> Every time you close your eyes. <laughs> Yo, Abby Caddy, thank you for the five foods. Thank you. Major Peppy, thank you for the 11. Sonic Heroes, thank you for the gifts of the River Dragon. Brings the web, thank you for the seven months. You're finally financially stable enough to sub again and actually save enough to move to a new place. Oh, congrats. That's actually really cool. Moving to your first new place is nice. That feels like so long ago for me. Congrats on your first step into your new life. Hope it goes well. Also, um, thank you for the bits too. Congrats on moving out. Um, and, uh, one man against the odds. Oh, oh, wait, yeah, thank you for the- you were giving me, uh, photo advice earlier. Thank you. Octillery not a tank, but tank Blastoise is a tank. No, Octillery was going to be a tank. That's the thing. Originally, Octillery's tentacles were shaped like treads. They got rid of that to make it less obvious. Do we need to do anything special if we find one? No. Don't do anything. Just one. One of me, we. One away. One away as fast as you can. Well, Mega Man. Not particularly. Just snap a photo of it. Your camera can analyze it for you. That should be all you need to know for now. Enjoy the nighttime jungle. Knock the Wowie. These? These are crystal blooms. 
But I never seen crystal booms like this on Earth. We can't let these witch booms get into Dr. Barry's hands. For Mega Man, we turn to the base be we. Dip, dip, boo, boo. Stick your hand in doo doo. Artillery doesn't equal tanks. You're right, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be a tank. It's just their beta art literally was them Pretty looking like a tank. There. You might have a hard time finding Pokemon. Oh. Look for a glowing crystal bloom for me. Hello. Yeah. Oh, Abby Cat, thank you for that resub and the gift sub. Thank you very, very much. And Catherine Miles, thank you for that raid earlier, too. That's very nice of you. I do really appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you guys are doing well. <gasps> Mushroom! Damn. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Gotcha. More, more lol. Oh. Never mind. I had to. I kept hitting Y instead of X because I'm used to a different fucking controller. Little toad, fellas. Go for a walk at night. Feeling a bit woke, Lindy. Fellas, what the fuck even was the last Zeno Saga stream? That game is going off the fucking rails, and I don't know what's happening anymore! I love it. I fucking love it. It is probably the most interesting plot for a game I've seen in a while. Yeah, the fucking, like, weird Jesus imagery was great. Yo! Yo! It's, uh, Agios! Where's Spinarak? I fucking hate spiders, but I love these dudes. They look cool. Yo, Ledian? No shit. Yo, your head big as shit, boy. Oh yeah, Ariana Grande was like mentioned, I guess, in Zeno Gear oh. Saga. Zeno Gear, Zeno Saga, same thing. Just one has some the Terminator in it. <laughs> so, who is the Big Joe of Zeno Saga? Will we? Do they exist? Uh, that's all I really need to know. Two cannon. Neat. Rakuno Kadaki is a quality spider. I like them. They're pretty cool. It's, it's nice to see bugs back in Monster Hunter. It's really nice, actually. The variety is very appreciated, and I'd like to see more. Big Joe is a bad man. God, I hope not. That dude could swim across an entire ocean. With the power of sheer will alone. He literally jumped from the Tower of Babel to Solaris, which is floating out in the stratosphere. What the fuck can't Big Joe do is the good question. The good question. The question of Xenogears, even. I think they should remake Xenogears. I agree. I think they should, or at least port it and maybe give us this too. In perhaps a more finished format that I guess I mean I honestly I like this too call me a, but I'm weird I'm weird and I understand what they were going through and why why it is the way it is and honestly I feel bad for them that people don't like it because they tried really hard I've been over this a thousand times see my Zeno Gears rats for other my thoughts on Zeno Gears anyways um, a remake would be really cool, but it's not, it's just not gonna happen. Like, not only are, is Square really, really, really controlling, also I think that's it, that's it, that's it right there. Of, like, their properties, but, like, Monolith Soft would have to work with Rare, and then they'd also probably have to work with Nintendo. 
Uh, rare. Not rare. Square. Jesus Christ. Two different... Uh, my brain's breaking. Yeah, rare, rare. Remember Zeno Gears with the, with the banjo kazooie sounds? When Rico showed up, he's like... <laughs> And Faith Fog Wong was like, Hello. Yeah, but I, I just don't see it happening. That would require a lot of people working together that have not wanted to work together for a long time. The entire reason why we have Monolith Soft now is because Square fucked over Tetsuya Takahashi so much. Like, he just wanted to work with a totally different company. Yes, they did want to make six Xenosaga games instead of just three. Correct. Bandai Namco said, let's settle for three. Because six is a pretty big number of games to request. Three is even big, honestly. And he hadn't really proved himself yet, I would imagine. So that kind of made it hard probably for them to want to go with six. And clearly they didn't sell very well, which kind of makes me sad. Because I think they're actually, the first one at least is really, really fucking good. Um, but I'm glad now they found a nice home at Nintendo. I do want to play Xenoblade uh, Chronicles and then Chronicles X and then maybe 2. I don't know if I'll play 2, but maybe someday. I definitely want to play Chronicles X though and Blade. Absolutely. I'm just trying to play these in order too. Yeah, I, I have X. Um... I don't know if they're ever going to port it, but I have it. I've had it for a long time. Never got around to playing it. This is your first time out there at this hour. I want to hear all about the Pokemon you saw. Two would be a very funny stream series. Xenosaga 2? Yeah, I'm going to do it. It's important to the story. I enjoyed the story so much so far that I don't see a problem with it. Oh, wait, I already had a three. Eh, they're both threes. Oh, they meant Blade 2. Yeah, maybe it could be funny. I don't know. Chat would probably laugh at some of the really, really awkwardly animated, like, side quest scenes. Which, yeah, they are, like, little MMD videos, <laughs> honestly. Blade 2 was an awful movie, though. See, yeah, that's why I like Xenosaga, because it actually... Game aside, the story is interesting enough, like, cutscene-wise, that it almost is like kind of just watching a movie with chat. All right, let's have a look. Oh, it's Lipart. There's something gallant about it, don't you think? Nice work. Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Xenoblade 2 has Welsh cat, cat girl, though. Yeah? What does it got? Is, is it got a giant robot named Welta? No, it don't. Take your cat girls and get out of here. This is a Welta house. A new discovery. Next is Morlol, a new one for your photo decks. Nice work. Desert, that was a joke about Marvel's Blade movies. Oh. I forgot those movies existed. <laughs> it seems calm. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. That's a bad shot. Yeah, there were some really good action figures, like models, that Square Enix released of Xenogears. I find it weird that they keep acknowledging the existence of Xenogears. A new discovery. When they kind of fucked it over really hard. That's gonna be something I never quite understand. They, they honest, they must know that people really, really like that game and it's kind of become a cult classic despite the fact it didn't, it got fucked over and kind of didn't do well originally. Yet they're still making like all these anniversary things for it and it's like, 
So are we getting that remake or not, dude? <laughs> Next is Yon Mega, a new one for your photo decks. Nice work. Yeah, I see it's having a nice meal. Nice work. Keep it up. Your placement's looking good. Centering your subject balances the photo well. Poor old Xeno Seri, still no reps in Smash, only the Xenoblade ones. Wasn't there a Cosmos sticker? Wasn't there? Or Spirit or whatever the fuck? Or was that a Photoshop that I saw? Sticker. Yeah, no. Cosmos was not in it. Oh, okay. I thought they were might have been a World of Light. Maybe I have false memories. Next is Magikarp. It's got a lot of personality, doesn't it? Great timing. I see it's having a nice meal. Great timing. This is well taken. But actually, um, there is a secret rep in Smash right now for actually Xeno Gears. And it's Pyra and and my, my Mithra Mithra my, 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 Pyra and Omira. Um, they have a outfit that literally references Weltall. Same color scheme, same basic armor sets, everything. So, at least Nintendo knows about that. At least Sakurai knows, at least. That, you know, Xeno Gears is a beloved franchise, and if that doesn't send a message that, like, yeah, people are hungry for Xeno Gears still, I don't know what, what else would. Literally putting a reference in, the, in a game for a major update. The more Pokemon you get in the photo, the more insight it gives us into the area's ecosystem. Xeno Ears. That's just gonna be the game where you... That's gonna be the audio novel. <laughs> <sighs> Desert, can you do me a favor and say Lipard again? My girlfriend and I are having a debate on how it's pronounced. Pronounce Lipard. Leapyard or Lipard? I pronounce it Lipard. Oh. Well, thank you. A new discovery. Next, we've got Ariados. This is the first time you've got it as your subject. Nice work. Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Nice work. Keep it up. Oh, yeah, they did have Cosmos and Xenoblade Chronicles, too. So, yeah, they know people like the old games. At least Tetsuya Takahashi wants to keep referencing them in his games. And he said, like, he's on record saying all the Xeno games, they aren't directly related. The different series, like the Blade, the Saga, and the Gears, they're, they're not directly related. Literally, legally, that can't be the case. It's, it wouldn't, they would have to work with Square and Bandai Namco over that shit. But they are all spun from the same thread. In some ways... What I've heard is Xenogears is like the original alpha story that was kind of pitched for a bunch of different games that they apparently were like, no, this doesn't work for like Chrono Trigger. This doesn't work for Final Fantasy. This should be its own thing. So he, he went bananas and went wild with the story and it was awesome and sick, but too ambitious for the video game budget that they had, and then Xenosaga was his attempt at re-attempting said story, and themes explored, and maybe exploring different aspects of them, and then Blade comes along and simplifies a lot of it. Which isn't a bad thing, it makes it more digestible. That's what I've heard about Blade. At least Blade 1. Which makes me want to play it, because it's like, yeah, okay. If it's all his themes, like, more easily presented and understandable for the, you know, person who doesn't want to fucking read, like, a million side things to, in order to understand, then yeah. That's good. Yeah, Xeno Gears Perfect Works is some serious shit. That's, like, that's a big, big Bible. It's supposed to be six fucking parts. 
Two and three get absurdly complex. So I've heard. S Saga two and three, yeah. Next we've got Ledian. This is the first time you've gotten as your subject. Nice work. Oh, my point 90 Twitch. Thank you for 33 months, dude. That's almost three years. Thank you. These are to be. Thank you very much. That's very nice of you. And Ed Stevens. Ew. Thank you for the bits, dude. Thank you very much. Next, we've got a two cannon. A new addition to our research. Nice work. I don't know about one, but Zeta Blade 2 is a pretty great story. Well, if you like that story, people rave about one. So, I mean, maybe try one, then get the remake, because I hear it's pretty good. It looks like it's fast asleep. Nice work, keep it up. You know, honestly, I already see parallels between Saga and Blade already. Like the metal dudes and the Gnosis just kind of coming out of nowhere and fucking up everything after like you get to know the characters and their daily lives for a little bit. That's pretty fucking similar. Gear starts out similar too in the same way, but instead of like weird fucked up aliens or metal creatures it's invading armies with mechs still similar ideals similar themes yeah but gears is good it's still on psn you can get it for a ps3 if you have one otherwise i would say they're making it too difficult to obtain they really are, so do what you need to do. I would love to point you towards some more recent re-release of it, but they, it just doesn't fucking exist. What's the deal with Blade X? Blade X is based kind of in its own canon. It's not really known what the hell Blade X actually is or where it would fit in or what, what it's tying two, except it seems to be very similar to Gears' initial idea. It, it's like if... Okay, Xenogears is about humans wanted, are colonizing space, right? They've left Earth. It's, it's a post-Earth game or setting. And then, from what I understand, so is Blade X. It does, but, it, but it's more like instead of things going wrong how, how, how they ha how it did in Xenogears and then everything gets fucked up and we get planet gun smoke bullshit happening like a trigun where thousands of people are now like fucking marooned on some planet instead it's they successfully you know set up a base on that planet and it hasn't had like weird thousands of years of fucked up history well, maybe it does, but, like, it's... It's a little different. Blade X is exactly that. Oh, okay. So it is similar, then. Minus the 1,000 years of history. Yeah, Xenogears is, like, a 3,000-year backstory thing going on for it. It's fucking whack. Blade X, they were forced to colonize a new planet. The opening's legit. Earth getting obliterated. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I guess in some ways, those are similar themes. Civilization, remote planet, fucked over many times to revive the godlike machine days. Yeah. Oh, man. These games are worth playing. Even if you know footnotes of the plot, they're very worth playing. They're very good. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon on the frame looking nice and big is the key to a good size score. Feels like the origin story for another RPG. I honestly thought Xenoblade X may have been Xenogears part, like, one or something. Uh, like, uh, maybe uh, apparently he won. My, I, I thought, honestly, he was trying to go for, like, I'm going to make part one of Xenogears, but I'm going to make it its own quote-unquote game. Because it's mankind leaving Earth and, you know, having to do that. But then, I don't know, man. Because then it kind of gets into, like, well, what about the planet Xenogears takes place on? Because it's not the same planet. It's a totally different one. This is Belusa Island's Crystal Bloom. This is the first time you've photographed one in a luminous state. 
This is the first time I've seen the Illumina phenomenon caught on Canamera. Canamera. Gamera. Outside of what we've seen on Florio. I imagine the Pokemon behave differently at this hour. Keep up the good work. Yo, no, Xenogears was part five of six, correct. So that's why I thought he was like, maybe trying to read, like tread maybe his earlier ideas for the game story that he did not get a chance to make. Basically, Tetsuya Takahashi was trying to do the Star Wars thing where it starts, where Star Wars starts with part four and goes to part six. And then it, then he, then eventually George Lucas made parts one and three. And then Disney made part seven and eight, and I didn't, I didn't see those. That was, I don't, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really watch Star Wars. I like Star Trek, though. By the way, now that we've got that Crystal Bloom info, I've got something to report. I hope you're excited. Nope, I don't feel a shred of excitability. But tell me anyway. Tatsu from Blade X is the worst. I hate him. I mean, it's not like other games don't have a Tatsu in them. I'm I'm looking yep. directly at you. I'm scared to f figure out who the Chu of Xenosaga is going to be. If not, we've already maybe met them. I'm really afraid it's Momo. But Momo seems to be more of a Maria. Or like a combination of like, hmm. Like, like Maria and uh, like Emeralda kind of almost. Yeah, the, she's like a weird combination of both Maria and Emeralda. Both with like the um, the nano machine colony thing, and like you know the father being a very major figure. For some reason, what was going to happen after Xenogears if it was part five or six? Who knows? We have to read Perfect Works to kind of put that together. It's hard to say. Great job. Your photos gave us plenty of data to work with. Now, then. now I've got something new to show you. Take a look. Oh. Pod racing was going to happen, probably. I mean, if I was, I, I really, for me to say my th ideas on where the plot could have gone from five to maybe part six, it would probably be extremely f spoiler filled for at least part five. I mean, obviously, yes, it would involve Zohar shit, it would involve Wave Existence shit, but, like... I don't know. The whole, like... Reincarnation thing, too... Would have to probably play a theme in it. Perfect Work says Part 6 is the one there's the least info on. Yeah, it's not really clear because it's like a lot of shit's wrapped up. So I don't know. Oh no, we're talking about Xenogears, not Saga. Oh, are those the orb thingies you've been working on, Professor? Didn't you say they could make Pokemon and Crystal Blooms gl mm -hmm. glow? Exactly. I called them Plutonium Orbs, Illumina Orbs. Unfortunately, blue Illumina orbs only work here on Florio Island. What? How come? I suspect it's because different areas of Lentil have distinct types of energy flowing through them. Now then. But for now, want to see the fruits of your research in action? Watch this. That was awesome! 
Oh my gosh, it's so pretty! Huh. Wow, Lentil's very own light show. Well, what did you call it again? The Illumina Phenomenon? It's interesting how it can occur in both Pokémon and plants. Mm -hmm. You can use these orbs to send Pokémon and Crystal Blooms into the Illumina state for a little while. When you do, watch for the changes in their surroundings. Hey, so... Can we have some of the orbs that work here on Florio? Yep. Of course you can. <laughs> We're gonna have to try these out back at the nature park. Yeah, really excited. <sighs> Honestly, I thought it was gonna be like a thermonuclear explosion. Nuclear. Like, um, like in Half-Life 2, the Mark IV thermonuclear thing that go, goes boom. You make a resonance cascade and there's a big exploding ball of light. You obtained Illumina Wars for Baloobal Island. You obtained Illumina Wars for Baloobal Island. Baloobal? Baloobal? This fucking island needs to change its damn name. Ugh. Chat, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Hey, I got... Help. I bet Illumina Ords will help us find new stuff to research on the courses we visit. Yeah, about that. Um. Go to sleep. Does this game autosave? I... This was a lot of fun. I'm really actually enjoying this. This is a great sequel. It's really, really fleshed out now. It does. Okay, good. Well, yeah, this is actually a fantastic game. Um, it's arcadey like the originals, but also definitely more fully fledged as an actual kind of adventurous game almost. Yeah, it took him 20 fucking years, but it's good. It's really good, actually. I didn't think I'd like this as much as I would, but it's actually giving me fond memories of the original game, and that that's, that's really nice. Nostalgia sells, unfortunately. And I am a sucker for it. But it is legitimately a pretty fun game. Mechanically, man, you know, it's a skirt. Okay, so usually at this time of stream, I like show art if there is any art, and uh, there is art tonight. So if you have any art for the stream, you can always send it to at desert B on Terscore art or to the art section of the Discord that I share between myself and my good friend, Nisha, who's a very, very cool person and helps me out a ton. I honestly prefer the Discord, but, eh. Yeah. The Discord's more convenient for me, honestly. Although, it is nice sometimes the show art on Twitter. Oh my god, there's some really good shit tonight. In fact, I mean, there's always good shit, but damn. Some really good stuff. Like, uh, for it. Oh god, I need to make room. Oh god, um, also, while I'm doing this, thank you all very, very much for all the support. Uh, Rural Juror, thank you for the six-month sub. Um, uh, Ed, Ed Stevens, thank you for the, uh, the bits, too. Thank you all for all, just all the support. It's really, really kind of you, and it really does help things, you know, keep going the way they are. And it makes it so I can stream as often as I do, too, so, I mean... I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Very, very grateful. Okie dokie. Well, uh, coffee has made this. And, uh... They also made this. And they will be dealt with. 
<laughs> they will be botted. They will be banned. <laughs> My god. The fucking character creator for this new Metopia version is actually ridiculous. Some of the shit I've seen, you people wouldn't believe. And when the Tether shuts down the servers, all these bees will be lost. Like... Mario's... on... <laughs> Cheesy <laughs> made some boss harag. Goss harag, boss hog. That's fucking sick. Good shit. Who is who is that he's hanging with? Oh, that's Barry the Chopper. Oh, from Full Metal. My god, I haven't thought about that dude in a long time. Yeah, he do they do kind of look similar, don't they? Yeah, that's Boss Hog. Boss Hog Barry. That's really cool. Moss Otter Art's sick. Love it. This is from Alley Cat. And, um... Oh my god, this is adorable. Chat. The dog. The dog helped. They helped, chat. Penelope. That's that's the pupper. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. They're really cute. I love that. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Cute pup bear. But I really like this art. I'm glad that Pokemon Snap is a really fun game. I really, really am having a great time with it. Thank you, though, Valley. That's very, very nice of you. Thistle made this Pagona. He looking very angry. Somebody, somebody, uh... Uh... Pest of this Cherry was probably or something. <laughs> The Grump Goda. Good lord. They are now too lazy to stand or even to crouch, so now they sit. Very good stuff, though, Thistle. Thank you, dude. Thank you very much. And itty bitty. Oh, this is. That's really fucking cute. That's that's really really cute. Yeah, I'm I'm actually really glad that he's he was eating. Um that I know that seemed like a really stupid like spur of the moment thing. And like really random, but like no, I'm super fucking happy that he's he's doing okay and he's eating again and I I love this art. And I love my boy. Leonard is a good good lizard. He's very handleable. He never has been in anyone ever, or even hissed. He's really friendly. And he's he was enjoying his meals today, and I was really happy to see that. He didn't eat a lot, but he ate enough, and that's good. That means he's feeling better. Yeah, pets not eating can be scary. Lizards tend to go through periods where they don't eat, but the thing is that he was sick, and I knew he was sick, so that was a little scary. But seeing how his metabolism is working, um, and he is getting hungry, that's a good sign. That is a good sign. So hopefully we'll, I can get him back into his main tank soon, and not be in the, uh, the slightly smaller tank that I use to make sure I can observe his movements. <laughs> Keep a good close eye on that boy. But thank you. Thank you, Itty Bitty. I really love this. That's very, very cute. All this art's really good. Thank you guys so much. I'm 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 glad people have been enjoying the streams. And um I'm glad people are just, you know. 
just hanging out. Really, I'm very appreciative of it. I honestly am, because, you know, people could watch anything on Twitch. You guys want to hang out here with me? All right, so that's fun. That's cool. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you, and thank you for all your support. Uh, Xeno Saga will continue throughout this week. Tomorrow, I would like to do Fight Night if possible. I, I'm not sure what it's going to be, man. I, th I kind of wanted to do Third Strike on the PS3, but... Not a lot of people have it, so... And that's understandable. Um... I'll figure it out. And I'll keep you guys posted on what it is. I mean, it'll probably be one of the usual ones, if anything. Um... But, uh... Yeah. And then... I would like to finish more, th th do more, I would like to finish 3D World at some point and do more VR as soon as it becomes available in my schedule. I've been very busy lately. VR takes a lot of setup time for me, and I still haven't quite figured out how to stream it perfectly yet. So, that one's a bit harder to get to, but, uh, and of course, more Pokemon Snap. And yeah, I think uh, for now that's 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 all I really am doing. Maybe a random stream of Isaac or Kataru Man or something here and there, but for now my rotation's pretty full. Thank you for all so much for hanging out. I hope you all have a good night or day. I hope you've uh, you've uh, you know taken a shower, or brush your teeth. And It's good hygiene, it's good stuff, it's good to practice good hygiene, because it's, uh, you don't want to be stinky. Trust me. It's not good to stink. It stinks to stink. <laughs> good night. <laughs>